Yes! Yes. Hello. How's everyone doing? Steve Dangle here. And welcome to the SDPN YouTube channel where tonight we are going to be streaming my reaction, my live reaction to this Saturday night game. Saturday night between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Edmonton Oilers. All Canadian matchup. Two cup contenders. Maybe. That'd be cool. Two of the hottest teams of 2024, believe it or not. I think combined in 2024, the Leafs and Oilers have, is it four regulation losses or five? It's four or five. The Oilers only have one. <laughs> they have one and two overtime and shootout losses. And the Leafs are unreal as well. Not basically undefeated unreal, but they're doing quite well. Folks, my daughter turns three weeks old tomorrow and it is catching up. <laughs> you can support the channel, by the way, uh, by doing what Carl Hansen just did. Uh, you can gift memberships for the channel. Um, and what memberships are. So we do three episodes a week. Let me just adjust my chair. We do three full Steve Dangle podcasts a week. They're like an hour and a half, two hours each. Lots of content. If you're a member, woo, John Michael A. Reed just gave five SDPN memberships. If you are a member, you get uh, a bonus episode every week. We record an extra episode every Wednesday. Um, and that's what you get if you're a member on this YouTube channel. And also, we have it on Spotify if you subscribe there. And also on Apple Podcasts if you subscribe there. I have already gifted 10 memberships if you were here before the stream began. And you know what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do another 10 memberships. And the reason I am doing that is because Omar was here last stream and he just super chatted us $80 and was like, here, I don't know if you can do this, but just give memberships to people. And we tried and we can't. <laughs> so I'm just going to do it myself. There you go. I click buy. It is very easy. You just click that little dollar symbol in the bottom right. Boom. There's another 10. So 20 total. That equals uh, the 80 bucks that you uh, gave us, Omar. So thank you very much. And that's all you, buddy. There you go. And it's it's totally random. So if you're like, Steve, give me one. It's not up to me. It's up to YouTube. And all that. Waiting for the game to start here. Tonight's uh, podcast, by the way, podcast. Again, my daughter turns uh, three weeks old tomorrow, and I am, um, yeah. I was like, wow, I feel really fresh. I feel weirdly fresh. I don't remember feeling this fresh last time. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's catching up. It's okay. I'm going to have a really good afternoon nap tomorrow. Mm. You ever look forward to a nap? I'm looking forward to two sleeps from now. Do you understand? Do you understand? Um. Thank you, Drew. Yes, uh, um, tonight's stream, we are um, promoting uh, alsactioncanada.org slash merch. Uh, Jason got in contact with me um, regarding a fundraiser he's doing for ALS. So ALS um, has affected a lot of people. And... Jason's dad, Matt, uh, is one of them. Also on this list, like some names I didn't even know. Uh, Boria Salming, obviously. Mark Curtin, who is a former Red Wing Canuck, I think, Leaf. Oh! Sky, thank you for the 10 memberships. Look at that. Look at that. Um, Bob Jones, Stephen Hawking, uh, Stephen... 
Hillenberg, John Stone, Jason Becker, um, lots of people. But basically, Jason and Matt are selling shirts as part of their fundraiser. Drew, do we uh, do we have that? Do we? Yeah, we do. Hope is not a strategy. It's unfortunate, but ain't that the truth? They're uh, they're selling these shirts to uh, help fundraise for ALS because hope is not a strategy. Unfortunately, it takes dollars, cents, and hard work. So thank you very much to Jason for getting in touch. Thank you to Matt for your bravery. Got to speak to them uh, on the phone uh, yesterday, and they were quite lovely. Oh, right. Thank you, Drew. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here. Link for the shirts that I just told you about is in the description of this stream. So please go to the description of this stream if you would like uh, one of the shirts uh, and to support this ALS fundraiser. Ricky Peck 94 asks a very important question. Are you wearing pants? No, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I am. I'm wearing uh, Lululemons because I got to be flexible during streams. I got to be able to do a sweet chin music super kick up into your face. Uh, oh. Super chat from Mike Danton. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Hi, Mike. I assume that's not your real name. Steve, I have raging acidic hot diarrhea in anticipation of Hyman's 50th. Any advice on how I can cope? Bananas. Bananas and water. Good luck with that, Michael. From Matthew, super chat to support my favorite podcast and evangelize. Uh, my personal hockey message, bring back the thrashers. What a word. I am sorry, just taking a brief moment to text my wife and ask for an Advil. <laughs> <laughs> Omar. Hey, Steve, congrats on the baby girl. Sorry for all the trouble for the subscription thing. Don't you dare apologize, Omar. Uh, appreciate you guys trying. And I'm going to click like on that. Is that new that you can click like on Super Chats? I think it is. Colin gifted five SDPN memberships. Thank you. Thank you. Man, let me tell you. Let me talk about the game a little bit. Uh, Sky gave 20, by the way. Uh, Eris Mix gave five, um, and Rachel Bishop before the stream started, um, gave five as well. This is a tough weekend for the Leafs, dude. Really tough. They got the Oilers who basically haven't lost. Hyman is two away from 50. They're passing to them all night. You know that. Um, so they got the Oilers. That's a hard game to win in and of itself. Whether, um... You know, the Leafs have home ice advantage or not. Then tomorrow, the Leafs have to go to Carolina. So they're traveling. They're going on the road to play the Hurricanes, who are also extremely strong. And the game is at 6 o'clock. So not only is it the second half of a back-to-back -back with travel on the road, it's early. What did the Leafs do to deserve that? That's one of those little things, man where uh i like i don't know how the collective bargaining agreement allows it that sucks <laughs> like and it puts the team whoever it is whether it's the leafs or not at like such a gross competitive disadvantage oh justin fisher gifts 10 stpn memberships during 
Uh, the anthem. Uh, Colton uh, said, here's a donation to the Steve Dangles. Uh, this team is ruining my life fund. Hey, if you want to make me feel better about this team ruining my life, there's a thousand people watching this right now and only a hundred likes. That is unacceptable. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Thank you. And all that stuff that I usually do at the end of videos. Greetings from Finland. Ah, Kitos. Glorious and free. I don't know if you've uh, seen the lines tonight. <laughs> the Leafs are in tough, my friends. Oh, baby. Uh, reviewy McReview face gifted five SDPN memberships. Thank you. You beauty. That's funny. Uh, sorry, sometimes I forget force of old habit from my streams with Sportsnet. You cannot see the game. So, Drew, I think you're going to have the clock up, right? That's the plan. Yeah, you never know if it's going to work. We've had some technical problems with that. That's okay. We're going to do our best. Um, in, uh, in case we don't have the clock, I'm going to do my best to keep you up to date with the time remaining in the period. Zachary on the attackery, indeed. Uh, I think someone just said, does Dangle speak Finnish in Finnish? And the answer is obviously no. I know the word ketos, and that's it. I know molvakt means goalie, but I don't know if that's Swedish or Finnish. Puck is dropped. Leon Dreisaitl dumps it into the Leafs' corner right off the hop. Leafs on their heels right off the hop. No! Vinny Deharnay, the seaweed man. Dreisaitl has it. Oh, boy. Leafs hemmed in early. This sucks. McDavid tripped. Is that going to be a penalty? Yep. Dude, Matthew Nyes... Uh, I mean, that is a trip, but oh my God. He's had uh, such horrible penalty luck. We're about 40 seconds into this game. The Leafs haven't touched the puck yet. Oilers with a line change, got an extra attacker. There you go. And Nye's going to the box. 46 seconds in? Sick. Nah, that's not a dive. <laughs> I saw a diving penalty in the chat. Nope. <laughs> no, he got him pretty good. Ah, well. Uh, Oilers, second-ranked power play. Leafs penalty kill, 24th. Sick. Sick. 9-14 to go, and the first puck is dropped. Oilers win it back. Oh, good pick off of the pass. Who was that, Dewar? Good job. Dewar and Camp. Out with it. Camp into the corner. Trying to take the puck off Evan Bouchard. The only oiler I wouldn't mind scoring tonight because I have him in fantasy. Edmonton tying up McDavid. Smashes him and he's sent to the ice. Dreisaitl working away with McDavid. Tries to get the puck through. Can't. Oh my god. This is pandemonium. 30 seconds into the power play. Bouchard passes it off. Ah! Oh, Oilers send it over the net. Holy Toledo. McDavid. Smart move by Edmondson to go down on his belly. Oh, my God. This looks exhausting. Oh, boy. Bang from Dreisaitl. Stop by Samsonov. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Spicy start to the game. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> yeah, producer Drew is saying the fact Hyman didn't score there shocked him. No, that was dry, wasn't it? Oh, you in general? Yeah, I'm surprised he passed it. Puck is dropped. Oh, 
McMahon gets it out. No breakaway, though, because Evan Bouchard's doing his job. Oilers, I mean, might as well just leave their top unit out there the whole time. Like, it's early in the game. You're getting whistles. Like, I don't know. Just go for it. Why would you ever take them off the ice? Oilers, Bouchard, Bouch bomb, gloved by Sammy. Sammy looking sharp early, 1750 to go in the first as we get yet another whistle. Uh, Ali Madge. May? Allie. Hey, Steve, thanks for helping this American get into hockey. Ah, oh, Americans do know something about hockey. Uh, I'll also be here in Raleigh tomorrow. Go Canes. How dare you? Leafs win the faceoff and dump it. 1745. Oh, we have the thing on the screen. Look at us go. Drew, 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 Drew. Oh, Oilers looking for another trip. They won't get it. Under 20 seconds to go in this penalty kill. Leafs, uh, no shots on goal. Willie with it, and the penalty coming to an end. This is interesting. They're going to get support out of the box. Needylander shoots it. The Leafs get their first shot on goal, stopped by Skinner. Camp out there with Nyes and Willie. Come on, Nyes. Nyes kicks it to himself. Good work behind the net. Doesn't lead to anything. Be a little more careful with your stick there, kid. Willie, good hustle. Matthews out there now, strips the puck. Riley. Nice pass off the board. Zwah! Matthew stays onside. CC smushed by Nyes. Good pace to the start of this one. Here come the Oilers again. Nyes up to Domi. Domi fires that to space. Matthews. Corrals it. He's got four Oilers on him. Domi can't come up with it. Going up to Kulak. Uh, Robert Brett, question. Do you think the Leafs should be able to turn down a penalty since our power play sucks? Also, are you surprised that Tom Wilson got six games? Uh, I am surprised he got six games, but I like shouldn't be. He slashed a guy in the mouth. Um, he felt sorry. I think it was a momentary lapse in judgment. You know... Noah Gregor doesn't seem that bothered by it, which is why I'm not all that bothered by it. But you can't do that. And a goal from Bobby McMahon out of nowhere. They forgot about him. The disrespect. How dare you? 15.43 to go in the first period. The Oilers completely forget about Bobby McMahon. Black eye and all in front. Oh, they're looking at the offside, but I don't think so. Who was that who got it to McMahon? Lilligren chipped it to Varus, who had Sam Carrick on him, the former Leaf. No one anywhere near Bobby McMahon, you silly geese. What are you doing? And the Leafs go up one nothing, early in the first shots, 2-2. Two -two. What a great start survive that early flurry that was brutal to survive that with a big kill and come out with a one nothing lead but here come the oilers again uh eris mix says where would you like to see celebrini go uh not in the division <laughs> no montreal no ottawa ideally the west haha <laughs> Leafs uh, and Oilers battling in the corner. Sorry, I was distracted. My mom just sent me a uh, text. She's upstairs uh, watching Isla, and she said, Isla missed that goal, and it's just a three-week-old baby sleeping. Dry sidle with it. In front shot! Wide! Oilers Beybladed around the boards. Broadcasters like to say carom, because that is the correct term. It's not as fun. Beyblade. Uh, 
Camp out there. He's been very involved early on. Lilligren jumping up in the play again, centers it to an Euler. Oh boy, that was a terrible pinch, two on one. Lilligren rushing back though, but it's a four on two. Good Lord, somehow the Leafs don't get scored on. Oilers don't even get a shot. Here comes Connor Dewar back the other way and he'll just dump it. Leafs exhausted after that fire drill of a shift. Here's the baby, the Bairn, if you're a Scot. Fourth line out there with the third pair. Bit risky, Sheldon. Puck in the Oilers zone. Wow. Uh, the prospector. Hey, Steve, fun little tidbit. Apparently, Doug Gilmore's son, Tyson, is now playing in your favorite league, the SPHL. I had no idea. Connor Timmons takes the puck, tries to get it to Robertson. Robertson wasn't looking. I'm not sure why he sent that pass. Oilers put it on. Nurse goes wide. Holmberg one-hands it because he doesn't know how to play with two to Simone Benoit. Leafs still can't get out of their zone. Holy Toledo, there you go. Ryan Reeves whacking at it. I'm very surprised uh, they didn't try to get McDavid involved. Third pair and fourth line on the ice. It's like you're begging for it. Now here's the Leafs' top line. Here comes the Oilers. There's Zach Hyman. No! Get it off his stick. No! He shot and he stopped. Or was he? Sammy made the stop. Oilers were poking at it. Jake McCabe gets into a shoving match with who was it? Drysidel? <laughs> Justin Fisher uh, said, Will Steve check text if it's not from his mom challenge? All right, there. I retweeted it. Shut up. Shut up. Oh! Oh, okay, we're in a commercial break right now. Producer Drew, can you explain that? You think the Oilers' power play could be good for Samsonov? Oh, that's true. Yeah, he gets fired on early. Goalies get hot. Could have the opposite effect if he gets scored on, but <laughs> it uh, didn't work out that way. No, he's he's already made like two really sharp saves. Warrior Womp. That's this is very interesting. Unpopular opinion. Dry is a bit of a scumbag, and I wish someone would check his BS more often. That reminds me a lot of Evgeny Malkin, and. You know, sometimes I wonder about what goes through the head of the teammates of a player like Connor McDavid. You're like, okay, he's the best. I play with the best hockey player in the world. So what do I do? What's my role in this? It's not to be better than him. I might score more goals than him. I'm certainly not going to put up more points than him. What do I do? What's my role? And I wonder if they looked at the Crosby Malkin thing. Crosby brings mm, a bit more of an edge. Nah, that's not even true. McDavid's become like a bit of a jerk <laughs> in recent years. He became Captain Elbow for a while. He knocked that off. Both Crosby and Malkin learned how to lead their team at a young age and stick up for themselves at a young age. Oh my God. Drew said, Who would you rather have, Prime Drysidle or Prime Malkin? I mean, the numbers say dry, but Malkin had a heart too. I think he had an Art Ross and he won a cup and a Conn Smythe in his third year. I mean, that's the first ballot Hall of Famer. How do you like it? That's, that's really difficult to beat. The fact that we're even having the conversation is wild. 12.55 to go in the first period. We're back from commercial break. John Tavares loses the draw to McDavid, but McMahon forces the puck out. Oh, here it comes back the other way. Yeah, the Leafs uh, hesitant to jump the zone with McDavid out there. Tavares watching the point. McMahon on dry sidle. McDavid looking for Boosh. Boosh bomb! Stopped by Samsonov. 
Oilers throw it on. Whoop! Puck behind the net. If you're just joining us, welcome. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. McDavid with it again. Drops it, bang, from back home. It goes around, scooped up by Dry. Willie trying to hack and whack. Didn't work. McCabe tries to collect it. Zach Hyman digging away at it. Morgan Riley comes up with it. Holy cow. I feel like I'm speaking at a million miles an hour. Tony Lee said Hyman 50 goals equals 50 sub donation. Ooh, what about Matthew 60 or what about just give us 50 subs? <laughs> what, what about that? You ever thought of that? Or what about purchase a shirt top? Uh, am I doing the right corner? No, I'm not. Oh, nice. Robbed by Skinner top corner, buy a shirt, uh, for the ALS super fun. I did the wrong corner twice. I'm an idiot. There you go. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> I did the I did the wrong corner with both hands. I'm a dumbass. I'm trying to swear less on these streams, but I think I can say dumbass if I'm referring to myself. You know what I mean? Get the John Deere thing off the screen. Thank you. <laughs> We we need the clock. 10.50 to go in the first period. one nothing Leafs shot 6-4 for the Oilers. The Oilers have had, whoa, the lion's share of the puck. Simone Benoit gets it out. Ryan Reeves going after it. Ooh, he wanted a piece of Darnell Nurse. Darnell made a business decision. Ooh, oh, that was almost a nasty play from Robertson. That was a nasty play from, sorry, that was Holmberg. And the puck goes out of play with 10.26 to go in the first period. This water bottle is one of the best purchases I've ever made. J Money is suggesting a Steve swear jar. Now, here's the thing. I've already gifted 20 memberships. So, like... Does that mean I get 20 swears? How many have I used up? Puck is dropped. Leafs in the ozone. Noah Gregor with it. This is the third line, by the way. Gregor, Dewar, Camp. The fourth line is Reeves, Holmberg, Robertson. <laughs> I mean, the ranking of the lines doesn't really matter, especially when you have this many injuries. Noah Gregor, great work. Ooh, sneaky shot on Skinner. Didn't work. I don't mind that shot. I thought he was going to pass, but so did Skinner, and that was the point. Oilers clear the zone, but the Leafs get it right back. Edmondson directing traffic. Scramble in the neutral zone. Leafs trying to get a change in, but the Oilers are attacking. Oilers moving the puck well. Evander Kane. Whoa! Bobby McMahon can't quite pick it off. On... Stopped by Sammy, who's been very sharp early. McCabe, <laughs> risky pass. Luckily, right onto the tape of Gregor, who desperately needs a change. Riley, over to McMahon. On, stopped by Skinner, and he'll hold onto it for a faceoff. 9.15 to go in the first period. James DeStefan, uh, gifted five STPN memberships. Mwah. Thank you kindly. Now we are in commercial break. So once again, uh, this corner, ah, I did it. Uh, <laughs> ALS super fund, uh, go to the link is in the description, but I'll read it out to you just in case, uh, ALS action, Canada.org slash merch. We're trying to help out Jason and his dad, Matt, uh, do some fundraising for ALS research. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, just give us a million dollars. Just give us a million dollars. No, you can do, uh, you can gift memberships to people. Uh, you can do super chat, obviously. I don't know if you can do super thanks. Can you? Super, what is a super sticker? I don't know what a super sticker is. I don't know what that is. 
There's lots of ways to give us money. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Dan C. Is Hyman a future Hall of Famer? Um, I mean, he's having, like, is Jonathan Chichu a future Hall of Famer? You know what I mean? Like, I, Zach Hyman. Let me see. He's also a late bloomer too. Like he, he was a, he was like 24 when he was a rookie with the Leafs, 24, 25. Hyman is 31. He's going to be 32 in June. Whoa, Omar, 2799. This is just for SDPN. You rule. Hyman, it's so ridiculous. He had 27 goals two seasons ago, went up to 36, and now it's at 48 and counting. Thank you, Irish. We are back from commercial break now. Since American Thanksgiving, the Oilers have a 786 win percentage. Goofy. Puck in the Oilers zone. Tavares loses the draw. Bouchard clears it. Oh, he airmailed that pass and it dropped perfectly for Dreisaitl and Hyman. Leafs luckily get it back. Nylander, what a pass to Tavares! Oh, they called that offside. You suck. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that reminded me a lot of JVR's goal. Game 81, 16, 17 season when the Leafs clinched a playoff spot against Pittsburgh. Producer Drew saying JVR had better hands than Tavares. Watch your mouth. Tavares loses another draw. He has not been great in the circle tonight. Uh, under nine minutes to go in the first period now. But you know that because our game clock is working. Morgan Riley. I am not hating this Morgan Riley-Jake McCabe pairing. I am not. Tavar. Oh, Riley! Interesting! Ooh! Oh, Willie almost scored such a nasty goal. Edmondson to Riley. Edmondson. Bang! Doesn't make it through. Willie, reaching for it, trying to take it off Hyman. Don't be nice because he's your friend. Get it. Uh, Andrew Doucette, why is my game 30 seconds ahead of your stream? Uh, Producer Drew, do you have a better? Oh, my God. Rob Har with uh, the sex number. God love you and the sex number. Thank you. Um. Oh, ignite stream on your computer plus a 14 second delay. Yeah, it's never going to be like perfectly synced. Like the ignite stream or the broadcast or that's that's why we have the game clock up so that you can sync it up. Like you can pause it and stuff and sync it up. Oh, Willie tried to go to the backhand. If he just tapped it, it would have gone in. Oh. He had the net. He didn't know. He's nine points shy of a thousand, uh, a thousand, a hundred on the season. Matthews scrambled draw in the Oilers zone. Benoit in a battle with Fogel. Leafs lose the zone. Keep the puck. Domi going up the middle. Can't get it to Nyes. Benoit holds the line. Timmins can't get it through. Keeps it in. Leafs can't keep it in. Benoit and Timmins. I was pretty pleasantly surprised with that pair last game. I mean, they won 7-3 last game. Hard to complain. Unless you're Adam Wilde, who did have complaints, and I thought it was extremely funny. Leafs fourth line out there right now. And the Oilers are not responding with the top line. I thought they were. Lilligren off the boards and out. Holmberg and Robertson giving chase. Sam Carrick out there. He's another guy to watch for uh, the former Leaf goal. Robertson, good job digging that puck out. Battle with Vinny Deharnay. Ryan Reeves got dumped in front of the net. He goes for a hit. I wonder if he goes uh, Sam Carrick. Ryan Reeves back in the lineup after... Uh, I think getting an eye poke in his fight with uh, I'm trying to remember who that was. 
Here comes ooh, Noah Gregor. Nick Delorier, that's right. Sorry, I got my ibuprofen finally. Oh! Leafs can't get it through. Preds uh, from Greco. Preds just beat the Wings 1-0. Are you serious? They're now 15-0-2 since Adam Wilde. Not only criticized them for not going to the sphere, but said they were bad. Uh, we got a whistle. Whew. Hate swallowing pills. Always have. Leafs, 4-0-1 record in last five home games versus the Oilers. Really? So the last loss at home, that well, sorry, regulation loss, that must have been the pre-COVID one where McDavid ruined Riley. Oh, producer Drew saying, yo, that's a good point. Had to have been in the Canada bubble because they played seven times? It might have been eight. It was so many. It was too many. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was too many. Bouchard. Waiting for reinforcements. Just sort of, yeah, skating with it. He's about to lose it. Tavares! Oh, they're calling Tavares? Or are they calling Bouch? Oh, that sucks. Dude, that's a battle. Oh, we need a replay of that. Tavares is pushing him. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I mean, no chance they call that in the playoffs. I, You know what I love about March? No one is guilty of a penalty ever. Because as a fan, I'm just allowed to say, they never call that in the playoffs. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's true or not. You can just say it. Producer Drew says if the Leafs don't get possession, uh, they probably don't call that. He's right. He's right. That's uh, something I've talked about for a long time. Uh, Afan Omer saying, our membership still being gifted here. That's up to you guys. I've already done 20. That's up to you guys. You know what you can do for free is click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. For less than free, you can go to alsactioncanada.org slash merch. Help out Jason and his dad, Matt. Uh, fund research for ALS. Drew says, how much is Hyman getting as a free agent? Uh, I'm pretty sure he signed like forever. You're thinking, are you thinking of Sam Reinhardt? Oh, Drysidle's extension. Canadian tie, member for one month. You're the one who started it all, you lovely human. Yeah, Drysidle has one more year. No move clause, modified no trade clause. Interesting distinction. Eight point five million dollar cap hit, and an eight million dollar salary. That's it. All base salary too. No bonus. Crazy. Leads to the penalty kill. Puck is dropped. <sighs> McDavid in the corner, wrapped up by McCabe. McCabe uh, taking advantage of the they can't call them all rule with McDavid. McDavid desperately trying to kick the puck out. Ref's got to blow this dead. Oh, puck comes loose. Boosh with it. Nuge. Oh, dry. Didn't like the pass. Which is wild because he essentially uses a goalie stick. Edmondson with uh, Joel Edmondson cross check on dry sidle. Playoff hockey arrives early. But here come the other. Oh, Edmonton blocks Drysaddle, and Drysaddle blows the tire, so the Leafs are able to clear it. One ten to go in this uh, Oilers power play. 
Oh, if Edmondson does that in the playoffs, we're going to get along just fine. <laughs> also, if they don't call penalties. Dry sidle down low. Oh, here he is again. Oh, Lilligren got tripped. Are they calling that? Nope, they're not calling it. 36 seconds to go in this penalty kill. Benoit takes out a Vander Kane. Kane wanted a call. I wonder if we see a scrap here. Like, high penalty games. This is interesting, right? So the least penalty kill stinks. So you would think, well, and their power play has gone cold. Games where there are fewer penalties benefit the Leafs. And the Leafs are about to go to the power play, and Darnell Nurse is furious. The Oilers thought they should have got two other power plays on that last shift. And uh, Darnell Nurse takes out William Nylander and just blasts the puck. Yeah, Edmondson. The blocks, the cross checks, but like legal, legal ish cross checks, like Hyman just did. Tavares set up Nylander for an excellent pass. Eh, you know what? If I'm Darnell Nurse, I don't love that penalty either. 3.03 to go in the first period. Uh, Max Domi helps Tavares win that draw. Lilligren to Domi. Nylander! Oh, sweeps it wide. Watch the two-on-one here. Lilligren, great keep! On! Into the corner. Max Domi. Down low to Willie. Willie to Domi. Domi looking for Tavares. Oh, he found it. Matthews. Lilligren. Shot. Gloved by Skinner. Whistle. 2.37 to go in the first period. 1.34 to go in this power play for the Leafs. That Lily Keep was sick. Arm 12. Yeah, no, that was... Uh... Man, that guy's got two modes. Excellent and unusable. And uh, you just never know. He was so, so good. And then he was so, so bad. In the past few games, with the exception of one real bad period, he's been pretty good. Matthews at picked off. Is that Connor Brown? Get out of here. Brown, Nylander, Matthews must have been a line, like even temporarily. Tavares can't find Willie. Domi comes up with it. By the way, I have my Domi rant about his stick flex, and apparently him and Matthews have like a near identical flex. Sick pass to Domi! Shot! That was Tavares. He's feeling it. Another good keep from Lilligren who puts it on. And Nylander gets the tip! And gets the goal! Will Nye, the hockey guy, draws the penalty for the power play and scores the goal. The Leafs take the 2 nothing lead. 146 left in the first period. Leafs saw uh, really good movement there. And another just a great keep from Lilligren. I don't even know if that touches uh, Nylander's stick. Lilligren fires it. I think it goes off of both of Willie's skates. Hard to tell from that angle. Stick to skate, you think? Yeah. Maybe. I don't care. <laughs> it's a goal. Speedy V says, uh, thoughts on the Wilson six-game suspension? I mean, you can't do it. And I think people keep saying, what's the difference between that and Truba? 
from earlier this season? And the answer is, oh, here comes a shot! Camp, Gregor! This line's actually been pretty good tonight. Whoop! Timmons taken down. Are the Leafs going to get another power play? They are! Oh, the Oilers have got to be livid. I mean, it's a trip. Almost led to a two-on-one for the Oilers. Um, yeah, Vander Kane, not very happy about that. So, sorry, the difference between Truba and um, Tom Wilson is Truba gets the benefit of the doubt. Rightly or wrongly, the league is like, ah, but you play a hard-nosed game and we trust you. Whereas Tom Wilson has had five suspensions and three fines before this. Tavares wins the draw. Lilligren, top unit out there. Domi out of play because it was deflected. So six games. Like they probably don't give that to other players. Crazy stat from Chris Johnston. Nylander is now eight points away from being the first winger in Leafs history to score 100 points. Including Marner? That's nuts! That's right, because he had 99. Oh, here come the Oilers. Two on two. Good stick from Lilligren. He's all over the place tonight in a good way. Speedy V says Wilson is legally not a repeat offender, though. Yeah, but I think this is a case of NHL Department of Player Safety actually using common sense. Like, I know by definition he's not, but he clearly is. How many suspensions do you need to get before you can't possibly be anything but a repeat offender? Tavares, stopped by Skinner. Willie, he's looking for options. I <sighs> can't find Tavares. Oilers clear it. Shout out Matt Gould. Thank you. I'm glad you love the commentary. 30 seconds ago in this first period, all of a sudden, if the Leafs don't score here or take a penalty, this uh, power play will go into the second period. McMahon, ah, puck goes ahead of him. Leafs have time for one more rush here. Sammy to Morgan Riley. Sammy is in assist territory. Riley dumps it in. Stuart Skinner goes for a little walk. Uh. Timmons, nice little chip to Riley. It goes wide. Two defensemen out there. Nice. Ah, he should have fired that. The period is over. The Oilers, after an unbelievable start where it looked like the, uh, after the first couple shifts, might run the Leafs out of the building, only muster six shots, and the Leafs are up 2 nothing. Hey, Canadian Ty gifted 10 SDP and me memberships. Love you, buddy. Nick Norris, uh, thank you. <laughs> Is that a Nick Robertson joke? I love that. Uh, Steve, thank you for years of entertainment. Uh, uh, you have done an amazing job with SDPN. No, you. No, you. Appreciate it. The Oilers are currently plus 310 to win this game. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. The like something like half of NHL games go to or are comeback wins. We're gonna go. We're gonna go two pills on this uh, headache. It six shots. Like the Oilers had two power plays. I'm shocked. As is producer Drew. Uh, Omar, as an Oilers fan, I could tell you they don't know how to play in the first. Uh-oh. Does that mean we're we're in for it? Uh-oh. Matthew Phillips, how great does Edmondson look? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I really don't. Um, so homework. If you want to support us, you know how. Bottom right uh of the chat. There is a little dollar sign button. You can gift memberships. You can do super chat. Oh, Canadian Ty is at the Leaf game. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Start a Go Leafs Go chant in the uh, second period. Love that. Um, also, 
homework, uh, you can go to alsaction.org slash merch. If you're like Steve, I'm not typing all that in. I'm lazy. I get that. I feel that. But the link is in the description of this stream. So you can go there, help Jason and his dad, Matt, raise some money for ALS. And we have some intermission entertainment, right? Ah, so we have a clip of me talking about Gary Bettman and uh, the NHL allowing player access for uh, the new Amazon series that we have go uh, coming out next season, I believe. Before we get to that, I'll answer one more question. Uh, Charlie Lindgren's mustache asks, Steve, did you catch any of the gong show in Washington between the Caps and the Canes last night? Yes, it was absolutely unbelievable. And... If you haven't picked up Seth Jarvis in fantasy like I have, uh, what are you doing? He's been a monster. What is it, six straight games with a goal? Anyway, here's me talking about Gary Bettman actually sort of with a good idea. Uh, the GM meetings, um, there was a lot of proposed rule changes. and Shut up! Um, <laughs> sorry, just sorry. sneeze. I sneeze. I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of proposed proposed rule changes, but um, I mean, we kind of went through them last episode. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to read something from Elliot Friedman. Last September, when the GMs and coaches met, because the GMs meetings used to be now and in June, and it was good for the insiders in June because they'd be making trades and getting ready for the draft. But most of the time, they couldn't get anything done because nobody cares about rules cha rule changes in June. You care about draft, you care about free agency, you care about making trades. Uh, so they're moving them to September. So last September, when the GMs met in Chicago, the league made it very clear that it was important that they agree to wear microphones and allow access where they'd been stingy in the past. In December, Bettman, unhappy with the number of times promises were denied, in some cases after initial approval, hmm. made this dis this disapproval very clear and demanded things change. Several sources who saw the, his memo uh, said he included something along the lines of, it is not uh, it is not an exaggeration to say the future growth of the NHL depends on him. Hey, look at that! And I just wanted to say, wow! That was where it's due. Listen, he's right! And I'll, I'll he's tell you right. this, I, I, soccer doesn't lie, but I'll, as a... As a Big Formula One fan who watches every race. Mid race, mm -hmm. they will talk to a team principal who's running the race. Like his drivers are out there, and they're like, "How, how do you feel about your race so far?" And they get three, four questions in. You can see in the states, Emily Kaplan in between benches all the time. You see it on TNT as well. Like for some reason, and I know the Leafs are number one on the list of teams that are saying no to this. Number one because you can't. Just because you wear blue and white, you can't talk to anybody. Everybody shut up. Stop asking us questions. This has got to change. This got to change. It's definitely especially a Canadian problem. Like, like I'll watch an American broadcast, and I'll see them talking to a coach mid-game. Yes. Like, what? And that's the point. They are all, all 32 teams are supposed to be doing this. I didn't know that. But they're supposed to be doing it regularly, like every game regularly. And they're all saying no. Don't NFL Films has everything. If you yes. if you ever seen NFL films broadcast so like if you if there's an important moment in a football game they have one of those guys mic'd up and they have access to everything and they'll just air it like it, the uh, what the other leagues are doing with access to players like it's it's not even fair in comparison the NHL needs to get on that level absolutely and 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 Gary Bettman recognizing that is a breath of fresh air because mm -hmm. I don't know if five years ago he would have felt the same and there's a lot of things that they're behind on but this is. It's it's clear that in this world, this is what you need to do to succeed. Yep. The and, reason that like uh, full swing is taken off. Right? Oh you, man, you fall swing. in love with all these golfers because of the access. You know, you're seeing these people be real people, and that's all we want to see out of these NHL players. And thankfully, this Amazon thing it looks to be moving pretty well. You know, looks like they're going to get a whole bunch of guys and have great access to that. But yeah, they need more mic'd up moments. They need more behind the scenes footage. Like that's going to grow the game. And to that point, Jesse. The Amazon series. Mm -hmm. Chris Johnson let a couple names drop on insider Ooh, trading. Hit me. So uh, apparently this this idea. So the idea, if you, if you haven't heard, is Amazon's going to do a series where they follow 10 to 12 superstars around the league next year. Kind of is going to feel like Amazon's version of like what a, a full swing or drive to survive. Quarterback. Or, yeah. yeah. Um, which is a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, names 
on the series so far that that have apparently been well received, like, hey, we love this idea. Leon Dreisaitl. Hey. Of course. Sp- great sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Connor McDavid. Of course. Nice. Austin Matthews. Of course. And my personal favorite, and Jesse will love this, William Nylander. Hey. Of course. Yep. And, and, and listen, there are more names, and, and they're going to follow more people. But the fact that after the, the catastrophe, which was the Leafs, whatever the Amazon Leafs series was, because the all Leafs would not allow them all or nothing, would not allow them to use 70% of the footage that they shot. Oh. What you saw was a, 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 a just a thin little thread of what mm-hmm. the Leafs PR would allow out. I love this for the league because the Leafs can't control it. As much as I love the Toronto Maple Leafs, they have way <laughs> too much control and, on this sort of stuff. You need to let fans in. This is, the, this is the new age. This is what you have to do. Drama matters. Mm-hmm. Drama, of course drama matters. And here's the thing. Drama matters like to people that maybe are so-so on the game. Yeah, I like hockey. What, what if you could turn, like we're already hardcore fans. We built our careers around this. What if you could turn some not hardcore fans into hardcore fans? Mm-hmm. How about this? You're worried about putting out fires? Like people are worried about getting radioed and people are worried about like a, like a quote getting out there. Um, how about you don't have one of the most catastrophic playoff losses in your team's history and explain it away. And then it, you're positive, 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 positive. It's obviously not positive guys. So you're just letting everyone's imaginations run wild. Mm-hmm. Why not just be like, Here's the ugly truth. Yeah. So and here what, it is. What, what Steve is talking about is at the end of the All or Nothing series, the Leafs lose again. And from there in the show, there's no drama for them being upset at losing, for them being sad. None of the consequences for losing. It kind of just ends on, you know what? It we'll ends try with again. Jack Campbell crying. We'll try again no. next year, and they're a little disappointed. No, it ends with um, um, Sheldon Keefe and Brandon Pridham and Kyle Dubas in Kyle's shitty office. Yes. The office is shitty. I'm sorry, it's it shitty. is. It's a shitty office, and they're throwing magnets against the board of who's going to be in the, who the lines are next year. That's how it ends. It, well, let's Bart, fucking the, try it again. And, and no, 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 recognizing that. Hey, this is where we aired. Mm-hmm. No sit down of hey, we didn't we didn't do this right, or we didn't do this enough, or we're really disappointed. They didn't even say that. It's so crazy because like you'll see full swing, you'll see uh, what's the tennis one. It's good too. No, it's not. It's, you don't get, like it's getting canceled. No. <laughs> oh, I liked it. I no, it was it was, it was very poorly. Oh, well, well, poorly I enjoyed received. it. Yeah. How about, um, how about um, that dry- moment heading into Game Seven uh, with Mitch Marner? Where, hey, Mitch, are you okay? Yes, said Mitch. Obviously not okay. All right. Proceeds to go out there and lose Game Seven. I'm back. Hi, everybody. Was that good? Was that a good segment? I thought it was. Um, Thin Glizzy said, I'm in the chat. Everybody calm down. See, you think that's just a penis joke. And it's not. It's actually a joke about the name of a band also. Double entendre. It's very good. Uh, Producer Drew with a very important question as we uh, are back from commercial break or sp- whatever we call that break. Is there anything better than the Oilers losing with a broom emoji? That's, that's terrible. This, <laughs> I'm just going to stop. I, I would have been better off going to the garage and grabbing a broom. Uh, hashtag go haves, uh, avs, go avs, go. They feel like the haves when you're watching them. They have so many good players. Did you do your homework, everybody? Hmm. Did you go to alsactioncanada.org slash merch and get a t-shirt for Jason and his dad and also ALS Research? I hope you did. The great thing about shirts is uh, you can put them on your body and then you don't get kicked out of bars. Some, some things you learn the hard way. That's one thing I had to. Uh, Tony Lee, uh, any chance the Leafs can move up from third place in the division with only 13 games left after this? Blah, probably not. Um, let's look at the actual standings to confirm that. Nah, I mean, 
Could they? Yeah. You know, this is interesting. So the Bruins have 97 points. They're 10 points ahead of the Leafs. They've lost two straight. The Panthers have 94 points. That's seven points ahead of the Leafs. They've lost three straight. It is possible. Likely, definitely not. Possible, yes. Uh, Eris Mix, 23. Since Nylander extended, Marner, Rantanen, or Dreisaitl to Chicago, summer 2025. Sincerely from a Blackhawks fan. No, they're going to get all of them. You imagine? Oh, my God. Who would you even put with the kid? See, I don't think Marner is the guy. I think Bedard is a sick, ridiculous goal scorer. But I think he's a really good setup man, too. Yeah, producer Drew, like, I, I think Miko Rantanen. You want him with a lefty, I think. I mean, I don't know if it matters that much for a player that talented. Like, one thing that we're all missing in the Blackhawks rebuild is they're going to be able to sign guys. Chris Johnston, are you watching? Are you watching the stream, CJ? I think he might be. I think he might be. Just see what he said in the group chat that you're not all privy to. Maxi, uh, did we make a mistake not keeping CC? No. Like, dude, he could win the cup this year, and I'd be like, ah, oh well. Good for him. Like, down the rung of guys on the Oilers who used to play for the Leafs, where I'd be like, damn, I wish they kept him. He's last. Wah. Hmm. Hmm. Jack Campbell. CC second last. Man, that contract he signed is three, no, sorry, four years at 3.25. It's not the worst. Cause like that's a man and a that's a manageable cap hit. But boy oh boy. Watching that guy play hockey for the Toronto Maple Leafs was a chore. Uh Wonder Davy, can I Oh, there's CJ! Hey! He's that's really him! That is really him. Love you, buddy. Shout out CJ. Let's hear it in the chat for CJ. Uh, can I get a membership for some reason? Or can't get a membership for some reason. So here's a super chat. Oh, and Brad! Love that. Uh, m &H Crush. Is the heart rate monitor just uh, reserved for the playoffs? Uh, and will we see streams in the playoffs? So I can confirm you'll get streams in the playoffs. Uh, and lots of them. We're going to be doing the entire first round, and then after that, we're going to have to improvise a little. But I want to be streaming one round in the first, or one series in the first round, one in the second, one in the third, one in the Stanley Cup final, no matter who's there. Uh, as for the heart rate monitor, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't hold it against Sportsnet at all, at all. Um, I, it was an idea that I liked. It was an idea that I was on board with. Um, it, it was an idea that was suggested by a lot of people and I don't begrudge it. I thought it was a really good idea, but it got to the point where I, uh, it gave me a bad vibe. I didn't like it. I didn't like, like, how do, how do I describe it? You see me stressing out. You see me losing my mind over a game and I feel like, let that tell the story. Like, uh, it made me feel like a bit of an animal in a cage. Um, and I don't know, it gave me the ick if I can, uh, put it in Gen Z terms. There was something about people like, Oh, he got up to one thirty or whatever. He got up to something about it. Gave me the ick. And I just told them, I go, guys, I don't want to do this anymore. And to Sportsnet's credit, they were just like, okay, yeah, sure. 
and they didn't. Yeah, producer Drew pointing out like Chris Hadfield was a really cool shout out. Like again, I don't begrudge it. I think it was a really good idea. It's just after a while, I didn't want to do it anymore. Robert Brett. Hey, Steve. Growing up, I found out a cousin who played in the NHL, Bob Gainey. I had a cousin in the NHL, Bob Gainey. Wow. Then I got married to someone who who was cousins with Gordon Murphy, but still a Leafs fan. Can't pick your family, I guess. You did pick your family, though. You married the person. Robert, figure it out. No, you know what's funny? A uh, uh, Russian guy I used to do videos with, Andrei Osachenka. Um, um, I, I would be like, oh, yeah, Chris Draper went to my elementary school. Oh, uh, I know a friend who has a cottage on the same lake as Mike Fisher. And he was like, you Canadians, you think you're impressing people like when you say that. You all know someone who played in the NHL. It's not special. <laughs> Made me laugh. Warrior Romp said, uh, Warrior Womp said, despite all your rage, you still felt like a rat in a cage. Was, it's, oh, yeah. Like, I literally smashed a pumpkin for an LFR once. I picked it up in the garage and I smashed it against the floor. Uh, James Stemler, Cowan hitting uh, Bedsy's junior numbers. We better keep him. The Leafs are not trading him. Cowan, not a friggin' shot. Second period is about to begin, by the way. You're like, my mic's messed up. No! I fixed it. Good. Second period is about to begin. Leafs uh, with a abbreviated power play. 30 seconds here to start the second period. First unit out there. Trying to get the puck to Matthews. They do. High shot. Skinner stops it. Oilers trying to start a rush here. Darnell Nurse joined it. Tavares has the puck. Final seconds here of this Leafs power play. They're not going to be able to do anything with it. Penalty is over. Leafs trying to say that was icing. Not going to work out in their favor. Leafs dump it into the Oilers zone. Jake McCabe with it. Pass to... Is that Dewar? Or Camp? That was Dewar. Stopped, obviously, by Skinner. Edmondson just being a thorn in Dreisaitl's side. I love it. Being a thorn in his Dreisaitl. <laughs> Dewar to Gregor, who's looked pretty good tonight, I gotta say. Here he is. Shot blocked. Gets the puck back. He almost gets hit in the face again by Ekholm. Did you see that? Benoit behind the Oilers' net. What are you doing there? Going for a little uh, little skate there, Simon? Connor Timmins and Evander Kane going at it. Whoa! Oilers throw it in front. Doesn't go in. Oh, very casual play. Almost cost the Leafs a goal. That was really stupid, whoever did that. I did not like that play at all. Uh, James Cuff, British Avs fan here, going to my first live NHL game versus the Stars in April. Very cool. Uh, ever think the NHL will do anything in London like the NFL has? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, next year, they're going where? They're going to Czech Republic, Germany, and Finland for the Global Series. Uh, London. I mean, they've already been there a few years ago. I want to say it was the Kings and... I don't remember who else, but yeah, there's a lot of hockey fans, more hockey fans than you would think in the United Kingdom. Eris Max. Yeah. Betsy is a crazy setup man too. Reminds me of a mix between Matthews with the shot and Kane with the silky hands. So glad to have him in Chicago. Oh my God. Puck is dropped. Oilers with it in the leaf zone. Whoa. D zone draw for the Leafs fourth line. That's a choice, but this is a, 
two on one uh, almost was Robertson gives it to Edmondson who just puts it basically just puts it right into uh, Skinner's glove. Connor O'Shea, instead of a heart rate monitor, have a decibel meter. <laughs> That's that is interesting. I like that. That makes me feel less like I'm dying. How are Evander Kane and Corey Perry on the same line? That feels not allowed. Puck is dropped. Leafs really not doing well in those face-offs. Here come the Oilers. I don't know what the actual face-off numbers are. It just feels like every time I point it out, they lose. Benoit, woo, hit hard by Carrick. Carrick going to his first ever playoffs, by the way. He's been in the league since 2015. Sam Carrick drops it. This is a three-on-two for the Oilers. Here they come. Oh, lots of space. Way too much, and luckily goes high and over Samsonov. Turnover. Here comes Nice. Uh, flubs it. Still can't get it out. Nice's game is still a little chaotic. I hope he works on his conditioning this summer and he has a real breakout next year. You see it all there. The hands are there. The frame is obviously there. The shot is there. It's there. It's there. Like that. That's a guy who could be like a 20, 30 goal scorer in the NHL in short order. But he's got to put it together. And he just... College players play what? 40 games-ish? There's a penalty here. Are the Leafs getting the only penalty? Or are neither guys going? Neither of them are going. Okay. Odd. 1648 to go in the second period. Very playoff like uh, rule book being used tonight. Nylander and Dreisaitl battling hard. Oilers. Free it up to the point. Boosh. Ooh, nice little stutter step on Robertson. Oh, Oilers center it, but they can't pick up the puck. Nylander almost picks that off. Bouchard over to Dreisaitl, but the pass wasn't clean. Robbie is somehow out there with Tavares and Nylander. Leafs must have been caught on an icing there. I was too busy focusing on the penalty. Sixteen oh seven to go in the second period. Ekholm can't clear the zone. Connor Dewar, how do you do? Puts it on. Stop. Camp skated well tonight. Backhands to Dewar. Stopped by Skinner. Tricky shot. Ekholm ah! <laughs> goes to push Dewar and misses him entirely. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and he missed him entirely. Morgan Riley basically saved a goal there by getting a piece of that pass to Dreisaitl. Vendetta says, Drew, why not have your voice too? We enjoy your knowledge. Uh, maybe. Set one of every 49 fans, says producer Drew. I would chalk that up to Drew has plenty to be getting on with as it is maybe we are getting other people trained up on the stream so that drew doesn't have to do every single one of them oilers are still plus 290 bang robbed by the glove of samsonov that might have been going high and wide, but who cares? It looked really cool. Standing O from just that one guy, but he got a fresh haircut and he's on national TV. So good. Yeah, Drew saying, did he get snowed by his own guy? He definitely did. He got snowed because Nuge pushed Domi into Sammy. Nugent Hopkins, we know, is an underrated fighter because uh, was it last season? He beat the wheels off of Justin Hall. 
Hall was always willing to fight. He'd lose, but he was willing to fight. Martin Jones is backing up Sammy tonight. That's interesting. But but with uh, um, Joseph Wool, you know, still back from injury or recently back from injury, it doesn't make sense to have him sit on the bench. I don't mind that. I mean, you got three goalies. Might as well pay Jones to do something other than eat popcorn, right? In practice. Ryan Reeves. Circling. Oilers, is this going to be ice? It is not. Connor Timmons with it behind the Leafs net. Uh, no look pass straight to Darnell Nurse. Do, buddy. You want to stay in the lineup or what? Ryan Reeves with the breakout. And he's picked off. Here come the Oilers. Line change here. Right on the blue line. Kane just <laughs> pushing everyone. Ekholm. Brown! Stop by Sammy. No! Oh, my God. Bouchard! Over the net. Lilligren wrapped up by Carrick. Is that Nyes or McCabe? Oh, my goodness. Just bodies. This has been a great game. Ekholm doesn't shoot. Does then. Blocked. Oh, good let from Dewar. Sneaky good play. Camp to Gregor, who's one on three. But the Leafs need a line change and they get it. Sneaky good way out of that little conundrum. Here comes Brown again. Scored a pretty big goal on that net right there that Samsonov is in. That was uh, the goal that sent the Leafs to the playoffs in 2017. That's the second time this game has been referenced. As we get a whistle. CJ in the chat asking, is Sammy back? First of all, you said Steven and you spelled it S-T-E-P-H-E-N. No, how dare you? It is the biblical way with a V. Um, yeah, Sammy's back. Like, if you look back to last year, he was imperfect, but like generally kept you in games, gave you a chance to win games, put up decent numbers. Uh, then he was completely unusable garbage, uh, and got worse and worse and worse from October to November to December. And then he's come back and he's exactly Sammy from last year. So like, I was surprised how quickly my brain adjusted to, oh, he's back because he was so bad in December that you knew the only comfort I got from it was you knew it was an anomaly. You knew it's not just, oh, he's trash now. You know what I mean? He's back. Robert Bett said, uh, let's give love to producer Drew. Well, everyone, we all know producer Drew's burner now. Sure, Robert. Sure. Someone uh, sent a gift uh, to my daughter, uh, Isla. But all it said on the card was from Robert. So I've spent the last uh, two days texting every Robert I know. <laughs> I finally found them today. I had to go through my whole Robert Rolodex in my phone. <sighs> Hockey Night in Canada pointing out that Connor McDavid didn't have any shot attempts Thursday versus Buffalo and has none tonight. Thanks, guys. He's going to score this damn shift. Thanks. Ernemus checking in from Sweden at 1.22 a.m. Taksamukiet. I'm sure you could just say talk, but thought I'd get fancy with it. McDavid, Dreisaitl, Hyman, just outside the Leafs' blue line. Scrambled draw. McDavid gets it off uh, Tavares to Ekholm. Oh, eh. McDavid and I'm um, McDavid McCabe. A <laughs> good let there. Leafs clear it. Bobby McMahon 
it has turned into such a Swiss army knife. Like I didn't know he had this kind of defensive game. You haven't seen Sheldon Keefe uh, line match with Tavares in a very long time. Boosh! Ah! Picked off there by McCabe. Here comes Matthews. Nice little rush. Tries to drop it for Domi. Misses his stick. Matthews trying to take it off a dry saddle. Gave him a little whack. Yeah, we got to get CJ a VIP membership. Holy cow. Here comes, whoa, Matthews and Domi missed the puck there. But here comes Pontus Holmberg. He's taken down. Matthews in front of Domi. Oh, 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 oh nasty. Domi with a tap into Pontus Holmberg. Ew. <laughs> that goal was hilarious. One of the funniest goals the Leafs have scored all season. You and also yuck, and the Leafs go up three nothing. Matthews to Domi for just an excellent shot. Like he set him up for that's a scoring chance. It's a... Producer Drew saying Bouchard avoid con or avoids contact, dude. This is why like Bouchard is such a gifted offensive player. He's terrible in his own end. He's brutal. And again, he might win a cup. I have him in fantasy. I wouldn't be surprised if he won all sorts of things. But I watch this guy play defense sometimes. And oh my God. Oh, great job by the Leafs with their sticks to prevent a scoring chance there. So Holmberg is out there with Matthews and Domi on purpose. That wasn't a line change. Very interesting. Bertuzzi's not even playing. Like, the Leafs are up 3-0 on the Oilers. No Yarncroke, no Marner, no Bertuzzi, no Labushkin. The fourth line is essentially the third line tonight. And they look great! In an increased role, the fourth line is just three random men. It's supposed to be Holmberg uh, with... Um, Robertson and Reeves. Connor Timmons is about to get a penalty or is getting a penalty. Sheldon Keefe with the smile. That's not a smile. Yeah, that's fair enough. Timmons with a cross check on Fogel. Was it Fogel? My brain won't let me remember Warren Fogel's number. I'm pretty sure he's 37, right? Anyway. Listen, they're going to get they're going to let a lot of cross checks go. They're not going to let them all go. Uh puck was dropped, but they didn't like it, so they're going to do it again. David Camp taking the draw for the Leafs. Shot 17-12 in favor of the Leafs. 11-10 to go in the second period. Nuge to Boosh to Dry. Dry flubs it. Camp gets it. And Edmondson just clears it. Aces win saying these pens on both sides are pathetic. Uh, it's kind of the playoffs in a nutshell. Like you just don't know what the rule book is straight up. Oh, good pass. Ew. Oh, what a stop from Sammy on dry sidle. And the Leafs going to dry sidle after the whistle. And we got a full on dust up. Leafs outnumbered five on four. McDavid's got Edmondson in a headlock. McCabe should get back in there. Because, dude, you're outnumbered. Man. I, listen, I know Edmondson's warts. You need players who revel in making life miserable for the other team's star players. 
Dreisaitl and Edmondson go to the box. Edmondson's a good uh, penalty killer. That's an okay trade, right? <laughs> of course you take that trade. I love a D-man who goes down into the butterfly. <laughs> it was Hyman initially going at it with Edmondson. McDavid got a real good shot in on uh, Edmondson. I'm a little surprised uh, those are the two that are going. Interesting. Edmondson... I assume is explaining to Dry Saddle what it's like to play in the Stanley Cup final. Producer Drew saying the Leafs are lucky it's not four on three. Really? Oh, that's a very good point. Yeah, so coincidental miners, it's still five on four. It's not four on three. No, nope, that's a good point. 10.32 to go in the second period. 1.20 to go in this power play. Boosh. Nuge. Boosh. I think that hit Hyman in front. It's in the corner. Leafs. Can't clear. Nuge. Stop by Sammy. Kampf. He's having a good game. Rushes it out instead of dumping it. I like it. Gets his line mates a change. He's just trying to waste time in the corner, doing a great job. Had three Oilers on him. Boosh, how's that? How's that not interference? Get out of here. Bouchard doing his best to make it a four on three. Oh, now you want to make body contact. You stink. Here's Bouchard with the puck. You don't stink. I'm sorry I said that. Lilligren with 30 seconds to go. Rushes the puck out. At least three on. Oh! Oh, Lilligren almost banked it in off the Oilers defenseman. Leafs got to scamper back, though, is the only, only side effect here. Holmberg knocks that pass off its trajectory. It's a difficult word. With speed. McLeod to Boosh. Boosh! Stop by Sammy! Whoa! Did Sammy make a save there on McLeod? I'm starting to get the Dutch Vanderlyn... Uh, Voice crack. Oh, and here come the Leafs. Three on two. Three on one. Shoot that. Stop. Scores. Pontus Holmberg. Two goal game. Flicks it up and over Stuart Skinner. That girl was wearing the new St. Pat's jersey. Good for her. It must be her birthday. And it feels like mine. Because it's Pontus Holmberg's first two-goal game. And the Leafs are up 4 nothing. If I'm the Oilers here, I want an offside call there. Because I went offside, and then I tried to stick lift Timmons. Bobby McMahon and Morgan Riley will get the assist. Pontus Holmberg, first career two-goal game. Love, love, love. Chris Knobloch. None too pleased, but I am. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Producer Drew with a good question. Can you do an offside challenge on yourself? Yeah, like I would be arguing, hey, we're offside there. The play should have been blown dead. But I guess that's a heads up call from the ref because it would have taken a scoring chance away from the Leafs, which is why you don't call it. That's definitely offside, right? Like the ref told you you were offside and then you got into a puck battle while they said you were offside. Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. You know what? I'm going to send a DM because we're in commercial break right now. I'm going to send a DM to scouting the refs. You see that 4 nothing goal in Tor Edmonton? I, I DM with those guys sometimes. And they're always clever. My trainer, I have a trainer because my back sucks, uh, just said, how are things? So I'm going to send him a selfie right now. 
and I'm going to tell him streaming. And hopefully that makes him watch. Woo. Hey, click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. It's been a while that uh, since I've told you to go to alsaction.org slash merch. We're trying to help out people with ALS, specifically Jason and his dad, Matt, and his whole family. They're lovely people. His mom, Catherine, and Colin, his younger brother. I met them all yesterday. I, I don't think I met Colin. He's, he's too good for me. Couldn't be part of that call. Also, we're looking uh, to add some members so that people can watch our VIP episodes that are behind a paywall because they're bonus episodes. So if you feel like gifting a membership to people so that they can try it out for a month and then consider buying an annual membership, well, you can just be a pal. Uh, Robert Bett, can we call him one hand Holmberg now? No, it's got to be two hand. Cool hand Pontus. No. Pontus. Because he got two. Producer Drew said boo. Shut up. See, I was right. The Leafs are getting... Was that? Holmberg with a three. When he scores a Hattie, I would like that. Robertson stopped. Puck out of play. Holy cow, the Leafs are doing real good here. Four goals on 18 shots. Stuart Skinner has not had the best help. There was another fire drill of a shift. Give Chris Johnson a membership. We're actually talking about how in the group chat. Did someone gift 50? Did I miss that? I did. Holy Crap, Logan Barube gifted 50 SDPN memberships. Thank you. Oh, it was recent. Okay, so I'm not that bad of a person. Good. Well, geez, after that, maybe CJ will get in there. Logan has done that before. You're a legend. You're a legend. That's got to be a trip. That's got to be a trip. That nearly led to a scoring chance. Get out of here. Leafs clear it so they can get a line change. And they don't, they do call that icing? That's brutal. A missed non-call leads to an icing with a tired fourth line out there. That's brutal. Sneaky bad no call. Justin Fisher, 10 memberships, you legend. That's uh, 20 on the evening for Mr. Justin. Producer Drew said, Steve, can you uh, name the last team to beat the Oilers in regulation? It's going to be someone stupid. It's Columbus, isn't it? It is Columbus. Yeah. Ekholm with it. The Leafs look like they're on the penalty kill right now. They're not. It's just the fourth line and they're tired because the Oilers have their top line out there. There is a real good chance to send in a goal. Boosh wide. McDavid for Hyman. Oh, no. Not this guy. No. Robertson doing his best out there. Reeves just trying to direct traffic. Oh! Hyman fired that. Sammy made the save. And Chris Johnston just signed up to be an SDP VIP. Hell yeah. Let's go. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. Thank you very much. Oh, that wasn't stopped by Sammy. It was fired. It hit Lilligren in the bum and almost went in off of his bum. But if ifs and pucks off butts were candy and nuts, the Oilers would only be down 4-1. But they're down 4 nothing. David Camp. Oh, my God. That's one of the weirdest face-offs I've ever seen. Went off a shoulder. Noah Gregor chips it out for Noah Gregor. As Noah Gregor often does. Oilers have the puck, though. Kulak knocks down uh, Gregor. Here comes Fogel. Stop by Sammy. Dude, 
if any team's going to come back from four goals down, it's this one. Like, don't completely let your foot off the gas here. Bad pass. Camp picks it up. Riley shovels it out. Batted out of the air by Gregor. Oilers turn the puck back down the ice. Leafs getting a line change. Riley, Oilers all over him. This is a very playoff rule book tonight. Timmons throws it on wide. Domi after it. Timmons shovels it in for Pontus Holmberg, who is on hat trick watch. Timmons. Where's the puck? Oh. Oilers almost had a decent rush there, but they had a broken stick, so Yanmark's got to circle back. Benoit behind the net. Matthews just doing his job defensively tonight and being like a supportive teammate. <laughs> be nice to see him. Like, I want to see him hit 70. It's going to be hard. Oh, boy. <gasps> Oilers shovel it in front. No goal. Timmons will at least get it up over the blue line. And we'll have to settle for that as it makes its way all the way back to Je Stuart Skinner. Almost said Jeff. Three-week-old daughter. I'm so tired. Interesting rush here. Corey Perry. Shovels it through the crease. Nothing happens. Edmondson off the boards. Ah, skips over Nylander's stick. Bobby McMahon out there putting pressure. David Shaw gifted five memberships, you beauty. Thank you. Edmondson, ooh, falls down. Oilers try to score off the sharp angle there. That was Evander Kane. No goal. I cannot believe Corey Perry and Evander Kane are on the same line. Boosh! Through traffic, hit someone. It hit Corey Perry, and he, his arm is down and useless at his side. Keep an eye on that. Nice pass to Willie, to Bobby McMahon, who scores! Bobby McMahon! I love this guy! And two players who started the season on the Toronto Marlies are on hat-trick watch right now against the hottest team in the NHL. You'll love to see it. Tavares with a cheeky pass to Willie. And you know what? Skinner had time to get over. He had time to get square. And this is just a goalie losing a one-on-one -on -one with a shooter. Bobby McMahon, third career two-goal game. That's absurd. Is 13th of the season. And let me tell you, I am going to be insufferable when Bobby McMahon passes Uri Slavkovsky in goals. <laughs> I think he's two back, two or three. He's he's uh, he's nipping at the heels of uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois as well. Five nothing Leafs late here in the second period. Goodness gracious. Wasn't the Columbus one a blowout? Cody Cece on. Don't you dare. <laughs> Wide. It was 4 2. Yeah. Blowout, like I said. Wow. Producer Drew just said you can no longer bet on the comeback, which I wish you hadn't said that. Camp shadowing uh, dry side all hit by McCabe. That was stiff. Bobbert McMobbert. Andrew Doucette says, how has Edmonton not pulled Skinner yet? Dude, uh, I agree. And he looks terrible too. Like, I mean, they've been terrible in front of him. Yeah, I was just going to say that. So they play tomorrow in Ottawa. I assume Pickard's getting that start. I'll probably be picking him up in fantasy. <laughs> if you think the Oilers are losing to the Sens after uh, this one, 
Uh, I got news for you. Nurse puts it on, deflected wide. I'm not sure Corey Perry has had a shift since uh, blocking that Bouchard shot. And that'll be ice. Daniel Hamilton says Robert McBobbert. I like that one also. Drysidle in a heated discussion with Evander Kane. Drysidle more heated than Kane. Oilers work the Leafs point under three minutes to go here in the second period. Leafs ice it again with 2.36 to go in the second. <laughs> Jesse says, are the Oilers frauds? If you ask producer Drew, I mean, producer Drew has seen his team sweep them, so. You need defense to win. Dude, their decor is terrible. No, oh, Noah McGregor! Tried to get a breakaway there. He's taken down. He looks tired. Bit of a slow line change there. And the Leafs just happy to take the puck, chip it into the middle of the ice. As long as it's not in their, in their zone, they're fine. Really good lockdown uh, game so far. Don't want to, you know, jinx it. Oilers have the puck right now. Bouchard with what I think is his 30th shot attempt of the game. It's stopped by Samsonov. Didn't make it all the way through. Uh, Wonder Davey. Shannon might be breaking out the no mercy. Do you mean Shanny? Might be breaking out the no mercy magnet for the review tonight. If this keeps up. Oh, you mean the hockey guy. I was like, who's Shannon? I miss Shannon. I don't know how to get a hold of him. I thought I had his number and I don't. And I tried to DM him. Didn't work. Producer Drew saying the Leafs have four more wins against the Western Conference than any other Eastern Conference team. That doesn't seem real. Can I guess their record against the West? Uh, how many games? Can you tell me that? Thank you, James, by the way, for the five STPM memberships. 31, I'm going to say 20, 10, and 0. Oh, or sorry, 20, 10, and 1. 23, 6, and 2. Oof, Maron. That's pretty good. Um, Paula uh, says, I want to give memberships, but I don't have the option. Uh, I'm a member, so it should be allowed. Help. There should be the option at the bottom right corner of the chat and it should be a purple gift with green on it and it says membership gifting yeah rob malloy keeps putting instructions in the chat also paula um it says you super chatted fifth five thousand five hundred clp and i don't know what currency that is CLP, CLP, pesos, Chilean pesos. Is that what it is, Drew? That's what Google says. All right. Are you watching from Chile? I love that. Seven bucks Canadian. I'm gonna buy myself something nice. Thank you, Paula. Oilers win that draw, whoop, put it in front to nobody. Lol. Nylander, oh, the puck just finds his stick. The Leafs might have an opportunity here. They haven't really had much offensively in a while. Cameraman does not know where the puck is. John Tavares is sitting on his bum. Makes the pass anyway. William Nylander with 90 seconds to go in the second. Edmondson! Edmondson scoring on Edmonton would have been perfect, but we didn't get it. Nylander works it back to Edmonton, who fires a dart up the ice. McMahon, who's on Hattie Watch, shoots, airmails it. Whoa! We get a whistle, but Chris Johnston, <laughs> yo, gifted, 
50 SDPN memberships, you friggin' beauty. Oh, McMahon hit the crossbar, boo. Thank you to Andre for the uh, $2 from New Zealand. CJ, can I tell you I love CJ? I got to rub his beard once when we were drunk at a bar, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. I mean that sincerely. Oilers chip it in. Under a minute to go, by the way. Leafs rushing out. Matthews with Holmberg, who's also on Hattie Watch. <gasps> Shoot that, Pontus. Ah. You got to be more selfish than that, Pontus. You're a goal scorer. Max Domi took a dive there. I don't know what happened. Lilligren just taking the puck for a walk. Oh, sneaky move. Holmberg, Matthews. Oilers get it. Can they clear though? Geez, that was the top line out there for the Oilers. Uh, Tom Boomer, question for you, Steve. You ever want to be a play-by-play -play broadcaster? Sure, sure seems like you enjoy it. You know what? Uh, I've found what I want to do. And it's this. And it's a great feeling. Finding what you want to do. And doing it. Unreal feeling. As we get up, bro, ha ha! At the end of the period, it's Joel Edmondson again! Zach Hyman in there! Mick David in there with Connor Dewar! The matchup that we all expected. Heading into this game, Gregor in there, taking out all of the game's best players. Darnell Nurse. Boy, oh boy. We head into second intermission. Nurse went after Edmondson, which, you know, I get. And it's 5 nothing Maple Leafs right now. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, we need a CJ emoji. You're absolutely right, Producer Drew. We need it. Uh, Justin Fisher asks, can I say we'll add a CJ emote if we hit a thousand likes on the video or something? And I asked that group chat question out loud on the stream. Oh, it, it's Jesse who does that? <laughs> Drew goes, we can make Jesse do anything. Jesse, are you watching? Can we do that? Ah, Hot Lettuce said, FYI, you can't sub or gift memberships on mobile. Um, you need a desktop. Okay, that makes some sense. Jesse will load the CJ emoji in, or what? what is it? Emote? He'll... Um, load the CJ emote in tomorrow. If we hit a thousand, got to hit a thousand. All you got to do is go to the thumb, the little like button and go, that's it. Here, wait, let me demonstrate one more time. That's it. Woo! Producer Drew says over under uh, 30 or sorry, three minutes of ice time for Matthews in the third period. Nah, he'll be playing. I don't care you're up five. It's McDavid and the Oilers. Yeah, Drew points out that it's a chippy game. Nah, he's going to play more than three minutes, though. You rest your guys against crappy teams. This isn't a crappy team. If it's still 5 nothing with like 10 minutes to go, then yeah, you maybe ease up a bit. The Leafs have a game tomorrow. The Oilers also have a game tomorrow, but you know they want to win here. You know they do. Mike St. Jean, welcome to STP VIP. Ryan Bannon, damn it, forgot you were streaming tonight. LOL! LOL, point and laugh at this man. Um, Ryan Bannon, assuming Leafs win... Uh, sorry, I have to say that. Does Edmondson get a star? That is so interesting. Ooh. Well, I mean, you got to give McMahon one. You got to give Holmberg one. Why not? 
Why not give Edmondson the third star? I mean, he's never going to put up the points. That's not what constitutes a good game for him. You know what I mean? <sighs> Holmberg and McMahon skating towards an empty net. Who passes the puck to who? Incredible question. McMahon has already had a hat trick. So he passes the Holmberg. Uh, Omar, as an Oilers fan, should be angry, or should I be angry or chalk it up to just not having it today? I would say not having it. I mean, dude, you've you've lost one game in regulation all frigging calendar year, and it was to Columbus. Like, did you take anything from that loss to Columbus? Like, uh-oh, I, I guess we suck now. Like, no. I know you want to beat the Leafs, like, Canadian matchup and all. I get that. Um... And it's easier for me to say, as a not Oilers fan, I'm a guy who gets mad about my team professionally, but I would say one loss. I mean, you sort of say a few swear words and you go to bed. Oh, I, I missed a super chat from Axis21. What does it say? Hey, Steve, how long do you think it would take for Twitter to shut down before uh, 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 during a Leafs Oilers Stanley Cup final? We wouldn't make it to game one. We would find out that's the matchup. And like, I think there would be enough death threats. <laughs> they would just shut the site down. Is that too dark? Jeremiah Maxwell, Steve, watching from Alaska. Whoa. Home of Russell Crowe and the team that played the New York Rangers. Uh, love that former cap and Joel Edmondson, uh, looks awesome. I'm happy for Leafs nation. I'm happy for you, Jeremiah. <laughs> Present day 20 XX says, what is it about SDPN watch alongs that brings up the depth scoring? So I feel like they scored a lot last stream, but it was a few weeks ago. So I don't remember. We need one from Maximum Domi. You're absolutely right. Till, till look. I don't know your username. It's, it's a lot of letters. I appreciate the depth scoring. James David Atkinson. Oh, what did, what did CJ say? Just a bunch of Adam Wilde emojis. Love it. Sean Poirier. Don't have VIP, but I wanted to contribute. Thank you. CJ wants a Julian emote. We should add both. We really should. That freaking commercial. Uh, I am not going to take a break because the chat is going ballistic. And with that, Ryan Bannon gifted five SDPN memberships. I think that's because he's in a great mood because we hit a thousand likes. Woo! Let's go. Marcus Hurd said, vote Elliot Lake for Craft Hockeyville. Ooh. I don't know where that place is. I assume it's a lake. Um... Merch, ALS merch, ALS Action Canada. Go to alsactioncanada.org slash merch uh, to help out uh, Jason and his dad, Matt, and his brother, Colin, and his mom, Catherine. We've been promoting them all night. alsaction.org slash merch to help ALS research. Oh, Drew, shut up. He, he goes, have the Leafs lost a stream game in 2024? Shut up. Just shut up. They're not going to blow a 5 nothing lead. They, a 5 nothing lead has been blown on the ice surface they're playing on this season. How dare you? Thank you, uh, Rune, for... Uh, gifting that one membership and also Colin. Uh, can we uh, ban uh, Rye Sept? 
please? Thanks for the money, idiot. Uh, typical Goosey. I wish they would bring back the Canadian division for one season. We were robbed of an Oilers Leaf series. Yeah, but that's their fault. <laughs> that's their fault. They both blew it. They blew it. Shout out to Kevin Badger. If the oh, if the playoffs started today, what would my predictions be? Well, okay, what are the matchups? Julian McKenzie in the chat, gifting five memberships. God, I love you guys. Devin N gifting five. Love you. Sean, holy shit. Sorry, Drew. I'll answer the question in a minute. Everyone's completely popping off. Um Sean Poirier said, uh, you signed my book in the Penn Center. You rock. No, you rock. Because you gave me a book to sign. And I worked really hard on that book, so I appreciate it. With Prime with 10 uh, memberships. Thank you. Jeremiah Maxwell. Unfortunately, Steve, Mystery Alaska was filmed in Canada. What? Still a great film. Alaska is the home of Scott Gomez, two-time cup champion. He won it twice. Uh, Nate Thompson, Joey, Joey Crab, Matt Carl, and Jeremy Swayman. Matt Carl? I didn't know that. Oh, Drew said, uh, what are your playoff predictions? Honestly, I don't, this, the chat is going so hard that I don't know if I can give these predictions. Uh, Robert Bett, if the Leafs make the cup final, uh, chance of seeing Adam and Jesse and you go to a game. Yeah, so I have no idea what we would do. Because if I'm committing to streaming every Leaf game, um, how do I get into the building? Like, how do I do it from the building? Also, someone would have to send me because the Leafs won't give me credentials and I don't want to remortgage my house. Yeah, producer Drew saying if uh, they go to the cup final, we're going to rent out a bar. Do a live stream from a bar. How sick would it be to do Maple Leaf Square like uh, freaking Tim and Sid did for the raps? Yeah, we'd live stream the cup parade um, and me just obliterated. Um, oh, wait. No, I'm a father of two. I can't do that. <laughs> Uh, Andrew K zero just hopped on to say, shout out to you all been killing it, uh, over on STPN been a huge fan since 2013. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, also live event in Sudbury when. So Sudbury, I want to say was on the list that got canceled from COVID was it Sudbury or the Sioux? It was somewhere really far North <laughs> and it wasn't going to be a fun drive or was it North Bay? Some are not fun like to drive to um, this fall or winter is possible. Possibly next spring. Ryan Bannon. Is there any chance you would consider working uh, with fans first network? That would be awesome. I don't think they've ever approached us. We've been on the channel. Yeah. Man. Me and producer Drew, yeah, it was after the Avs Leafs game. Was that the two one overtime one? Where Ranton and I want to say got both? Or no, it was a shootout. Wasn't it? I don't know. DC Souls gifted 10 memberships. You friggin' butte. Blues getting the last wild card spot over Vegas. All right, calm down. Uh Sternyman. <laughs> hey Steve, longtime subscriber of you and SDPN since 2015. Wow. Just joined SDP VIP. Uh, where is the best place to buy your book still? Um, you know what? We have like 50 of them in the office. They're already signed by me. We got to put them back up on our store. But if you don't want to wait for that, um, I don't care where you buy it from. Uh, you can buy it 
direct from ECW Press, uh, who is the publisher. Just go to their website. Or I think it's still on like Indigo, stuff like that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give you some memberships. I feel like it. Leafs are up 5 nothing. I'm doing 10 more memberships. Oh, Julian gifted another five. I thought that was the first five I was seeing. You know what? I can't be outdone by Julian. Bang! There's 10 for you. There's another 10. Uh, Kevin Badger. Your book was amazing. Oh. Also got a cameo from you a few years ago. You have been a highlight, the highlight of Leaf Games the last few years. Keep it up. First of all, thank you. Second of all, what a damning indictment of the Leafs. God, I love you guys. What commercial is that? TV? stuck in your head <laughs> gaming freak youtube gifted 20 stpn memberships a hey, let's go god drew do we know the number that we're up to Oh yeah, wasn't it like a crazy blowout and then everyone donated? Right, we didn't know until the third period that you could even do that. Oh, it was the Ducks game where the Leafs like killed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Omar, just curious, whatever happened to Are You In? And is it because Dubas is gone? Um, Dude, I've talked so many words into the universe um i don't know it wasn't a conscious thing i could bring it back whenever i want uh eisen eisenberg uh hi from uh leafs fan in germany sdpn euro trip when dude i talk about it all the time i want to go to europe uh with the boys so bad um and i mean the trip to stockholm was just proof that it would work um my i would really like to do a live show from the maple leaf in london england um but i would like to do mainland europe as well no we're not we're up oh we're up to over 2300 memberships oh okay i was like we didn't get an extra 2300 today what the Wow, that's like 300, though, or something. Or 200? 286? That's really good. Uh, Tom Boomer on a CRV. Uh, I know the chat's nuts, uh, so this should help. Nurse starts the third with a two for roughing and a 10. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's news. Oh, yeah. Like, why didn't I assume there would be penalties from that? Uh, Tony Lee, chances a Leafs re sign Domi. Um,. I haven't heard anything discouraging for that. I think he's going to resign here. I just hope it's reasonable. I mean, his dad's a former NHL player and his agent's Darren Ferris. So like, I'm not optimistic, but like, hopefully, hopefully it's affordable. Uh, Wesley Martin, no question. Just thanks for streaming. Thank you. Thank you. I promise you, I wouldn't be doing this if no one cared or watched. Uh, I would, uh, I don't know what I'd be doing with my degree. I'd be editing highlights, honestly. That's probably what I would, I really, I like that job. I did like that job. Hours poo, <laughs> but I like that job. No idea how I would do that job uh, with two kids though. Yeah, producer Drew was saying there's a reason, like, a lot of the people who do highlights uh, are really young. <laughs> it 
It's not that it's like entry level. It's that it's uh, high burnout, straight up. Paula Bellin, hey, you figured it out. Gifted 10 SDPN memberships. Gracias. By the way, this week uh, we learned on the podcast that uh, Jesse Blake does not know how to roll his R's. Drew doesn't, you don't either? You can't do the, you're Italian, aren't you? Oh, interesting. Calvin Pickard in net for the third period. I'm a little bit surprised. So we're up to 300 memberships. Drew's saying we got to give something away or make me do something when we get up to 500. You guys figured it out. Uh, gaming Freak YouTube. I've uh, been watching since 2018, ever since the Heartbreak series against Boston in the playoffs. Love the videos and streams. Thank you. Leafs on a power play to start the third period. I didn't even know <laughs> Tavares uh, shoots it. That goes wide. Domi to Matthews blocked. Tavares blocked. Vinny DeArnay, the seaweed man. Getting in there. Two on two. Here comes Fogel. Oh, no. Shot. Stopped by Samsonov. Here comes Matthews. <clears throat> Whoa. Joshua Doss gifted 50 memberships. Oh, lead Toledo. Uh-oh. Don't make me do anything too bad. <laughs> okay. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. You're going to have to give me a minute. But if we get to, I'm going to say 600 memberships for this stream. I will eat a chocolate cupcake with mustard on it. <laughs> Trevor L, any chance one day uh, we might see a monthly show that's just Steve Paddle Save Emporium? Uh, yeah, it's a it's a rights issue. It's a pain in the ass. Rogers and all that. The laws are less forgiving in Canada than they are in the States. That's how John Boy gets away with it. Connor Brown coming in. Passes. Uh-oh. Sammy, where the f where are you going? That was weird. Uh, this Leafs power play has not been very good. <laughs> basically a free two minutes off luke vela uh great minds think alike i will eat a chocolate muffin with mustard on it but we gotta hit 600 subscribers for this stream alone um and i think we're something like 250 away ryan sorelli drive to north bay four lane the whole way holy crap is it really Members, not subscribers. Sorry. Members, members, members. Alex, does Hyman score a hat trick in the third? God, I hope not. Jor Turtle Gaming. Oh! Noah Gregor, out of nowhere, almost scores a goal. And I'm surprised there isn't a line brawl right now. Jor Turtle says, oh my God, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm going to have to watch this back. Yeah, you are. You're going to have to watch the whole damn thing. Make hat guy eat the cupcake? You know what? That's a great idea. Uh, Chris Johnson, Steve, I spent an insane amount of time at the Maple Leaf when I uh, lived in London. Did you see that their poutine is shredded cheese? They got to fix that. I wonder if they fixed that. Last time I was there was, I think, 2012. John Tavares loses the draw in the Oilers zone. Willie keeps it in. Gets it to Bobby McMahon. Leafs up 5 nothing, but you got to remember, Holmberg and McMahon are both on hat-trick watch. <sighs> Nylander looks a little uncomfortable. What happened there? Dry side all shoots wide. Nylander tips it out. Uh, goalie Cody gifted five memberships, you butte. Water Snob, uh, the song you keep singing is Am I the Same Girl? My dad played the Swing Out Sister version uh, and danced with me when I was a baby 30 years ago. Wow! Is this a penalty for Puck Over the Glass? Potentially. 
potentially. Ah, Timmons put it right over the glass. He had McDavid on him. Oh, boy, you don't want to let the Oilers in this game. I don't care if you're up five goals. How are you not, like, a little intimidated by these guys? David Kampf, scrambling the draw, comes up with it himself. But McDavid, hunting it, finds it, and Bouchard has it. Dry sidle. Behind the net for McDavid. Tried to find Hyman, couldn't. Oh, McDavid on the wraparound! Can't do it. Connor Dewar. Boosh, almost offside there. Good stick from Jake McCabe, and Connor Dewar flicks it. Eh, unfortunately, straight to uh, the Oilers. Where was that, Kampf? Holmberg, hounding Drysidle. Drysidle back to the point. To Bouchard, you guessed it. God, the puck spends a lot of time on his stick. Drysidle. Whoa, what happened there? Sammy with the glove! And Sean Daly with the five memberships. God, I love you guys. What happened there from Sammy? Oh, the CJ Emote is live. Let's go. And the Julian one. We're unhinged tonight. This rules. What a great crew. Machinations. <laughs> I didn't know that was a word before CJ said it. And now it is one of the greatest additions to my life. Along with uh, my daughter, Isla and Arthur Morgan. Benoit behind the Leafs net. Oh my God. Manhandled by Zach Hyman. He's such a big guy. Bang from Bouchard. Stop from Sammy. Sammy's been sharp, man. Whoa. The emojis are going nuts in the chat right now. Sadine Magic uh, from a Canucks fan, but how about a let's go? Dreisaitl. McDavid. Nuge. Dry. Oh, my God. How didn't the Oilers even shoot there? Bouchard. All I see out of the corner of my eye are emojis. McDavid. Oh, they sneak it in. And did Hyman get it? He sure did. <laughs> uh, 49 on the season. And five minutes into the third, the Oilers are within one. No, they're not. They're within four. God, I'm tired. It's Benny V-dubs. Uh, I'm back, Liverpool. Keep up, mate. What? I'm confused. Yeah, producer Drew is saying it's a free space. I mean, come on. The, the Leafs began this game down one nothing because you knew he was scoring one. Now, Willie said, oh, my God. Something came undone in my chair there. Willie said Hyman wasn't going to score two. So we knew he was going to score one. Got to stop him from scoring two. Hey, Bouchard got an assist. That means I got a point in fantasy. Oilers. Blocked. Okay, guys. Come on. You were up five goals. Let me breathe easily. Jeez. Timmons to Domi. Domi to Matthews. Matthews has some space. Shoot. Stop by Pickard, and that'll be an ozone faceoff for the Leafs. We like that. Oh, keep up with Liverpool. Robert Bett, does the Marner injury worry you? They're not saying much. Seems worse than day-to-day, -day, like Keith says. Um, I feel like if it was that bad, we would have heard it by now. You know what I mean? And he finished that game as well. Like, they're cautious with these things. Like, Joseph Wool has played NHL games. He's not on the bench right now. Because they're rehabbing him in other ways. Marner, I mean, you... I, the team is sort of cooked if he's no good. So you got to be as cautious with him as possible. Leaf fans wanted a call there. and They're not going to get it. Cody Cece leads the rush. Carrick can't center it. 
Leafs airmail it out. Connor Brown in a battle there with uh, Kampf. Domi coming out with it. Domi out there with Kampf. That's got to be a line change thing. Yep, Domi heads off. <laughs> the poll question is, are you nervous? I clicked, oh yeah, absolutely, uh, so fast. <gasps> Connor Dewar is about to get a call. Oh my God, guys. There is too much time left in this friggin' game, dude. Drew says stop being dramatic. Like, dude, you... You edit the LFRs. Like, what... Like, how many times do you need to see this happen before you realize there are no irrational fears when it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs? Five goals has probably happened one time in the last ten years. It happened this year! The Leafs were the ones who did it, but... I've seen them blow a five goal lead with my own eyes. No, the Red Wings crazy game was they blew a uh, four one. They blew a four nothing lead to Winnipeg in 2016. And Line A got a overtime winner hat trick goal for his first ever hat trick in the first ever head to head between Line A and Matthews. Did they blow 4 nothing to Colorado? I thought that was 4-1. They've blown a few 4-1 leads in recent memory, man. <laughs> They've blown a bunch. Producer Drew saying, does Pickard start tomorrow? Um... Yeah. I mean, do we think the Leafs are going to get a ton of shots this period? Honestly, like, you know the Oilers are going to cheat for offense so hard in the third period. I, I really don't see the point in pulling Skinner. You know what I mean? How many shots on goal are the Leafs really going to get? Like six? I know he's let in some softies, but like, I don't know. Lock up the win tomorrow. Oh, Sam Carrick and Zach Hyman were on the same, uh, was that GTHL team? That was cool. D zone draw, 13 25 to go in the third. Connor Dewar, who is a penalty killer and was traded for to help the penalty kill, is in the box. Joel Edmondson will send it down the ice. Bobby McMahon usually doesn't start on the penalty kill. Um, I guess is in doer spot. Nathan Williams said, what are your thoughts on Matt Murray possibly making a return this year? If he does, it'll be with the Marlies. He ain't playing with the Leafs. No shot. Bobby McMahon, great little stick. Tips it out of the zone. Yeah, no shot Murray plays NHL games. In the regular season. And if he plays in the playoffs, that'll be because at least three goalies got hurt. Penalty nearly half done. Dry sidle with it. The Oilers penalty kill has or penalty power play, sorry, has not shot the puck. Nuge can't get it through. Boosh to McDavid. Boosh bomb. Up and not out. Nylander and Holmberg trying to get it. Holmberg gets it out over the line, and the Leafs will get a change. McDavid's still out there, so therefore still terrifying. So is Dreisaitl. Where's the puck? Boosh has it at the point. Dreisaitl. Oh, Kampf. Nice, slow, calm pass to Bobby McMahon. Who drives the net? Oh, ho, ho. almost scores there on Stewart. Uh, nope. Calvin Pickard. There you go. Here come the Oilers. Less than 20 seconds to go. CC. Cody CC's on the power play? I guess it's almost over. McDavid. Oh, cuts. Uh, and Corey Perry scores. Uh, oh, uh. It's only shut up, 
Drew. It's only three goals. Shut up. You guys think you hate him on Twitter. He's in my headphones. Shut up. Andrew Doucet says, why is this reminding me of game seven against the Bruins? Well, because you're damaged. Like, this isn't game seven. This is a regular season game. But, like, oh, my God, dude. Just, like, literally just don't take a penalty. Don't take a penalty the rest of the game. Stop it. Frig off with the penalties. That's enough. Timmons. Oh, my God! Sammy hits it wide of the net. You can bet on the Oilers again, says Drew. Cody Cece, wide. Kane, whiffs. Where's the puck? Matthews, three on two here. Matthews with Domi and Nyes is back out there. Nyes! Stopped. Good opportunity. Oh, my God. That was Perry's 10th of the season. Oh. Almost halfway through the third period here. So that's some comfort. Not a ton. See, you know what's annoying? Like, we're in goalie pull territory. You know what I mean? Like, 5 nothing. the Oilers don't even pull the goalie. Down three, they probably do. Down two, they definitely do. Down one, they probably score. <laughs> Willie, good defensive stick. Tavares, you got to get that puck out. You got to get that puck out. Riley to McCabe, who has to blah, shovel it out on his backhand. Leafs almost had an opportunity there. Good stick. Here's Connor Dewar. You got to make up for that mistake, kid. Pickard, good decision to play that puck, actually. Not something that you hear me say often for goalies. Ekholm. Oh! Nasty little interaction there with Dewar. Here comes McDavid. Behind the net. Camp out there with Gregor and Dewar. Dewar off the glass and out. Gregor picks it up. Back and forth with Camp. They cough it up. Here comes Zach Hyman. Watch Nuge! Hyman with it behind the net. Hyman still with it. Trying to cut to the middle. Can't. Circles back. Camp knocks McDavid to his knees. Edmondson on Hyman. Gregor can't clear the zone. Vinny Dayernay puts it on. Blocked. Gregor clears the zone. Nine minutes to go in this game. Oh, Dewar. Decent little hit there on Hyman. Hyman wasn't expecting that. Oh, my God. I should not be this nervous. This is why I didn't like the heart rate monitor. Matt Gould said, remind Drew the Leafs won this year in Denver. I will. Here's Fogle. Oh, maybe I won't. I'm just going to stop talking crap. Oh, I just want to sit here in silence and not throw up while the Leafs win what should be a slam dunk, but it's just not. because Like, it's it's from both ends, right? It's the Oilers and it's the Leafs. Oilers ice the puck with 8-12 to go in the third period. Oilers now out shooting the Leafs, 28-27. to I, I took a drink of water at the exact moment that Matthew Nyes did. <laughs> Dayo! That was a really good save from Pickard on Nyes. Maybe that's why you pull the goalie. I will eat a mustard cupcake uh, if we get... Um, what is it? Drew says make it 500 to make it more realistic. Screw that. 550. We'll meet in the middle. How's that? How many how many more do we need? 200 more. All right. Tavares is out there with Robertson and Reeves. So I guess he's being double shifted. Have the Leafs lost a forward? Is a forward hurt? Or they, is this just Keith trying to sort of shorten the bench? Robertson clears the zone. 
chipped in deep by Reeves. I wouldn't keep this line out there very long there, Sheldon. Oilers ice the puck again. Interesting. 748 to go in the third. What is Yanmark uh, even arguing? Ah, uh, they're saying uh, Timmins prevented the Oiler from playing the puck. Hmm? I'll take it. Matthews with the ozone draw. We like that. Matthews versus Drysidle. Nice. Oh, helps him win, but uh, the ref blew the whistle. I guess he didn't like it. We're going to do it again. That sucks. And Leafs will win that. Max Domi. Oh, tip. That was sneaky. That was sneaky dangerous. Matthews tipped that on. It was stopped by Stuart Skinner. And we'll get another whistle and another ozone draw for the Leafs. Are they seriously changing? Oh, it's a commercial break. Oh, boy. See, I'm nervous because I don't want the Leafs to blow this, and I also don't want to eat a mustard cupcake. But I'll do it. If we get 200 more memberships gifted in this stream, I'll also give uh, another shout-out. It's been a while to alsactioncanada.org slash merch. You can get a T-shirt to support ALS research. Through ALS Action Canada. Did I say Skinner again? Jesse said everyone do the wave. All right, here, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Oh, that was fun. And now it's got to make it all the way around, though. It's got to make it all the way around. It takes longer than you think, even though it's very exciting. Oh, here it all. Oh, there we go. I'm saying, yes, we should do the wave. Oh, wait, no, the Leafs are only up three in the third period. No, do not do the wave now. No. Ooh, Ryan Bannon, five SDPN memberships because he wants to see me eat mustard on a chocolate cupcake. Uh, abroad said it's hard to read these because of all the friggin' waves uh look at the bright side if the oilers tie it uh and you have an aneurysm think of the number of views the stream will get oh you know you're right last video we ever do you know what would be a shame for sdpn it's it's not like i have uh a library of unreleased lfrs like tupac like <laughs> they're like the content will just stop if I die, there's no more LFRs. It's over. Then the Steve Dangle podcast will just be called podcast. <laughs> Steve Dangle Memorial Podcast. The SDMP. <laughs> Good keep at the line from Domi. Brandy Hutching is now a VIP. Here comes Connor Brown. Oh, stripped by uh, Simone Benoit. That was pretty good. Oh, we got a fight. Whoa, a big fight. What's going on? Domi with, is that Yanmark? Why? I mean, Domi knows he's not getting a ton of defensive shifts. Whoa, big rights from Domi. They go down to the ice. And Domi knows he did pretty good in that one. Rob Har saying wave him out. How about a Max Domi fist him out? Where did that fight come from? Oh, yeah. Domi 100% won that fight. Was there an instigator? Like, what, what even led to that? I was watching Benoit. Oh, is Domi and Yanmark were in a, like a, sort of a slash battle. That dude in the front row is having the time of his life. <laughs> you see the wonder on his face, the childlike wonder. Maximum Domi and David with five memberships. What a guy. 724 to go in the third period. 
How many memberships to get me to do the Max Domi haircut? Uh, no, I wouldn't want to do that to my wife. And then my kids would have to look at me with that. that it, it, I wouldn't, it wouldn't fit me. Ryan Bannon, how about you eat a mustard cupcake if Neilander decides to do a post-game interview wearing a shirt for once? I am, no, not leaving that to chance. How dare you? Uh, let's get to the seven-minute mark. McDavid's on the ice. Leafs three on one. I'm at the point, and it still doesn't work. Stop from Samsonov. Boosh. Ekholm. Where is it? Puck is still in play. McMahon gets out of the zone. He's so fast. <sighs> Lucky to not get an elbow there. That was a bit of an elbow there on, uh, I think that was McDavid. And here comes McDavid. Hi, man! Stopped by Samsonov and we get a whistle. 6.43 to go in the third. Dude, my heart is racing like it's the playoffs. I... <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, McMahon definitely uh, got McDavid up high there. <sighs> Speaking of up high, uh, Hyman got uh, Sammy like in the collarbone area. Yeah, producer Drew with a great point. Like, McDavid doesn't even look at the puck. Like, you talk about individual skill sets that are some of the best of all time. McDavid's ability to skate with the puck has got to be in the conversation for best ability to do that of all time. Ovechkin's standing still slap shot has got to be the best standing still slap shot of all time. How many goals has he scored with that shot alone? You know what I mean? Marks Bergenovs. Are you from Latvia? Welcome to the VIP membership. Dry Seidel versus Connor Dewar. D zone draw. 643 to go in the third. Dry Seidel wins that pretty clean. Dewar hits it back to CC. Oh, the shot stopped. Another stop. Oh, God. I hate how competitive this is. Camp gets it out, and it's a two-on-one. Dewar with Gregor. Shoot that kid. Passes to Gregor. It's picked off. Ah, see? Stick with Coach Dangle. Uh-oh. CC To Fogel. Stopped. Edmondson couldn't get that puck. CC there's a whistle. Oh, Sammy's mask came off again. It came off again. That's interesting. Oilers are going to have something to say about that, I imagine. Robert Bett, just put ketchup on the cupcake. Ketchup makes everything taste better. Yeah, but the point of the cupcake is not to make it taste better. <laughs> Everyone wants to see me eat something disgusting. That's going to be so funny to explain to my mom who is babysitting upstairs. No, no, you can't leave yet. I have to put mustard on a cupcake and eat it in front of the internet. <laughs> Shots this period are 11 to 5 in favor of the Oilers. It feels like 20 to... One. <laughs> 613 to go in the third. We are not yet at the point where I feel comfortable with a three goal lead. We're not there yet. Matthews with the draw does not win it. Nurse in a battle with Matthew Nyes. Nyes, don't get a call, kid. Lift it out. Is this going to be ice? Yes, it is. 5.58 to go in the third. This will be another D-zone draw. Leafs top line out there. It's essentially Matthews. Not essentially. It is Matthews out there with two rookies. It's Matthews centering Pontus Holmberg and Matthew Nyes. This is probably not Sheldon Keefe's top choice. But he put them out there, so. Oh, something's going on with the those board ads. Nurse puts it on. It's behind the leaf net. Airmail. Holmberg going after it, trying to win this puck race with DeHarnay. Ooh! Holmberg almost went face first into the boards there. Matthews collects the puck. Oh, and loses it. Here come the Oilers. No! Into the corner. Oh, no. Nurse in front. 
Holmberg, good body battle. Yeah, get it out. No, the Leafs put it back into their own zone. Kane tries to go the wraparound. Shot off the side of the net. Five ten to go in the third period. Oilers, Boosh on blocked. This line is exhausted. Riley just off the boards and out, dude. He does it, and the Leafs will not be able to get new guys over the boards because it's icing. I think if you're Sheldon Keefe, you take a timeout here. Are you even allowed off an icing? I think you can. Yeah, you take a timeout here for sure. For sure. That's a great save from Sammy. I hate how close this is, dude. 454 to go in the third. Like, dude, you have a timeout. If and the Oilers have pulled their goalie. If if you can't like what what other situation are you planning on using that timeout in? Oilers win the faceoff. 450 to go. Ekholm. Boosh. Oh, Oilers down low. Oh. Nice. Get it out. He gets it out. Holmberg. Nice. Matthews out of air. Someone change. Holmberg was sneaking towards the bench there. Good move, kid. Under 430 to go in the third. Oilers are definitely getting another one. How close they get is the question. Boosh! Wide. Tavares is out there. Trying to pressure the point. Dry sidle. On. Blocked. Edmonton is out there. Stripped. Ekholm, Bush, Ekholm. Dry sidle. Oh, the Oilers send it cross crease. Tavares tries to get it out. Can't. There's still barely under four minutes to go here. That's a lot of time. How is Nye still out there? Are you joking? And the Oilers score. Dry sidle with the tip. 3.39 to go. How don't you use the time out there? Oh, f and Sammy's hurt. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Sammy looks really not in a good way. He ripped his blocker and glove off, producer Drew says. What happened here? I have no idea what happened there. You think it's his leg? Oh, uh, no. Oh, shit. He hasn't even moved. Uh, Drew's asking what his injury was before. He's been healthy basically all season. I think he's been day-to-day -day a little bit. He's put his mask on. There's no way he's staying in this game. Sammy always does this. No, no, no. No way. He's skating under his own strength, which is good. But now Martin Jones is coming into this game ice cold, 3.39 to go, and he has to defend a two-goal lead with the Oilers completely shooting the lights out. Uh. Yeah, Sammy saying, or Drew saying, didn't he get hurt before the playoffs? He got hurt during the playoffs. Um, that's why Wool played basically most of the series against the Panthers. Oh, you're using this timeout now? You're having a little opportunity to talk? Having it? A... Do we know for sure they were or weren't allowed to take a penalty there? Or a timeout there? Oh, 
Paul S. This is no longer cupcake with mustard. It's a cupcake with mustard as the main ingredient. Ew. Oh, God. Leafs win the draw. McDavid's 89th assist. Holy shit. Yeah, you're allowed to make timeout or take timeouts. You just can't take a sub. How on earth don't the Leafs take a timeout there? Matthew Nyes was out there for like three minutes straight. And now the Oilers are in the leave zone, probably about to pull the goalie. McMahon gets it out at least, but the Oilers have the empty net. And here they come again. It's McDavid. Back home. Boosh. Oh my God. So close to a goal. There's barely, there's still like three minutes to go, dude. Camp is out there. Here's McDavid. Boosh. I shouldn't be this nervous. They were up five, nothing. This sucks. Oh, dry sidle. Click like, and subscribe. You freaks. <laughs> I know you're here to just watch me die. Oh, McDavid. No. Dry sidle. Wide sidle. McDavid. Under two and a half to go. McDavid on. Rebound. That hit the post. At home. 2.15 to go. Oilers down low. Leafs just trying to block all the blue paint. Bouchard puts it on. Off the side of the net. Dry sidle. There's no way this game is this close. Get out of here. Camp. Oh my God! To do her. That's not ice. That's not ice. Frig off. He should have had a clear shot in an empty net, though. Under two minutes to go. Boosh. Stripped by Matthews. He's in a battle for it. Oh, Holmberg went for it. He didn't get it. Get it. Get it. Shot. Blocked. Nylander. Can't gain center. Matthews can't get a shot. 90 seconds to go. Tom Boomer says Jesse knows what he's doing by starting the wave. You're absolutely right. What, did you have money on the Oilers, Jesse? You stink. 120 to go. Oilers put it on. Blocked. 115 to go. Perry. Off the side. 110 to go. Nurse. CC. On. Blocked. 105 to go. Leafs. Ah, tied up in the corner. They can't get to it. Nurse with it at the point. Under a minute to go. Nurse on. Ah! Off the side of the net. Matthews through the center of the ice. Curl puck. Curl. It doesn't curl. It's icing with 46 seconds to go in the third period. You got a timeout. Might as well use it now. Oh my God, Nuge put it right off the bar. Empty net, totally empty. Oh, they hit two posts. Or was that a save from Jones? I think it was a save from Jones. It's insane how close this game is. Just stop. Matthew's out there for the draw. He's pretty tired. Leafs lose the draw. 40 seconds to go in the third period. The Leafs are up two. Boosh. McDavid. Can't get the pass through. Holmberg! Doesn't go for the hat trick. I admire it, kid. Under 30 seconds to go. 25, actually. Long range shot on Jones. 20 seconds to go. Matthews puts it in to the empty nets! 12 seconds to go in the third. The Leafs take the 6-3 lead, and I think we can live. <laughs> Holy sh... Come on! Come on! That should not have been that close. Oh! No! Oh. No! Oh. Paul says, starting in 17-18, you couldn't call an icing on a timeout. I'm going to confirm that. Because there's no reason to not take it there. Oh. <laughs> How many is that for Matthews now? 58? 
Yeah, 58. You know what? He doesn't really get empty netters, so good. Be greedy. Ugh, the Leafs win a game that should not have been that stressful, but was. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Final shots, 37 to 29 in favor of the Oilers. Leafs with the 6-3 win. Martin Jones closing things out. I imagine he'll be the starter tomorrow. Oh, actually, no, I don't. Uh, Joseph Wool is healthy. So Joseph Wool, you would think, is going to play against the Hurricanes tomorrow. I would doubt Samsonov even makes the trip to Raleigh, and it would be Wool starting with uh, Jones as the backup, you would think. So you can't take a timeout after an icing. I mean, so that is uh, the rule. As of 2019, it was? That's what Drew's looking at on scouting the refs, so, which is a good rule, honestly. It makes sense because, I, know, I don't know, why not just do that all the time? Take an icing in a key situation and then take a timeout. You're being punished for taking an icing. You shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? Holy. <laughs> hey, if you're going to go, before you go, click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends, and one last push to alsactioncanada.org slash merch, you silly geese. Oh, my God. Please join as a, as a member. You get a bonus episode every week. Whoa, Del Tago just got home from the movies. Sad I missed the stream. Uh, congrats to Steve and the new bundle of joy. Here's some diaper money. And it's the, the sex number. Hooray, Budnick uh, is an SDP VIP. We love that. Let me, uh, let me send the tweet where I say LFR tonight. LFR tonight. LFR questions. Oh my God. David is a VIP. Once again, alsaction.org slash merch. We're trying to raise uh, some money for ALS. And by we, I mean specifically Jason and his dad, Matt, who reached out to me. They're selling t-shirts for an excellent cause. Good for them. Let's help them out. David with 10 memberships. Thank you. Uh, Tom Boomer, a TO icing uh, during, uh, sorry, a timeout during icing gets used often in juniors and in college because teams get shelled. Ask me how I know. Ooh, interesting. Uh, but makes sense. You can't do it in the NHL. No, I totally agree. I do. Ben, uh, Ben Creepin is a VIP. And by the way, if someone gifts you a uh, membership for a month, consider getting an annual membership. It's cheaper for you because you got a free month. Hey, Hyman didn't hit 50. That's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, uh, Robert Malloy. I blame Steve for saying Matt Murray was fourth on the depth chart. He's third now. Oh, you could argue he's behind Hillaby. I don't know, dude. Dancy is Jones' first star tonight. You know what? Yeah. Omar, here's the stat. McDavid has as many assists as Ben has points when he won the scoring title. Wow! That's a stat. Good stat. That's a great stat. Uh, Salman says, what happens first? Hyman hitting 50 or Matthews hitting 60. Hyman hitting 50 for sure, because he's only one goal back. Matthews is two. And Matthews is playing the Hurricanes tomorrow, and Hyman is playing uh, the Senators. I will say this. Uh, Pyotr Kachekov, if he plays tomorrow night against Toronto, that's crap. He should be suspended. He kicked a guy in the last game. I don't know if you saw that clip. Uh, Catherine Brown. 
Uh, what a game. Thank you, Steve and SDPN and viewers for supporting ALS Action Canada. There is no cure. A thousand Canadians uh, are diagnosed every year. 80% live two to three years after diagnosis. So please support. I believe that is uh, Catherine, who is the mother of Jason. Yeah, no, you guys are awesome for reaching out to us and we're happy to help. <laughs> Robert Bett, when as a Leaf fan are you not stressed out? Like, I'm stressed out through the summer. You know what I mean? <laughs> stressed out all the time. They're bad. Oh, no, they're going to be bad. <laughs> oh, my good Lord. Hawks, that's an excellent stat. That was brought to you by the New Jersey State Lottery. Remember, anything can happen in Jersey. Thank you, Hawks. That's a great point. Ken Danico here covering your New Jersey Devils. Brought to you by the New Jersey State Lottery. This, the Devils just lost 5-2 to the Sens today? Playoff lives on the line? You. Uh, Bobby McMahon is uh, doing the Hockey Night in Canada interview. He's got the Hockey Night towel. His black eye looks worse somehow than it did at the beginning of the game. Solomon, the Leafs officially have a winning slash tied record against every Western team except one, the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> That's hilarious. They, how did they lose both games of them? They had a 3-1 lead too. Uh, they had a 3-1 lead in a game where Ryan Reeves scored a goal. And they lost. Whatever. Dude, they won. They won! We're in a good mood. They won. Uh, Alex uh, on Twitter says, so keeping three goalies was probably the best uh, trade deadline move, right? We have Bobby McMahon's black eye on the screen. My head for scale. Q Strike 5 gifted 10 SDPN memberships, you beauty. You know what? I'm going to gift one more. Just one. One membership. It's only four bucks. That's it. Let's see who gets it. There. Ma -na -ma -na -ma. Who's the lucky person? I gifted one membership. Golden Gamer got it. There you go. You put McMahon's face over mine? Wait, let me see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we just... Uh... No, put his face back up. Put his face back up. I need it. No, I need it. I'm doing something. Yeah, you know, the, the boys just did a really good job tonight, uh, you know, uh, just uh, get, getting pucks in deep. And, uh, you know, we, we, had a, we had a great win. You got to do the, the hockey player sniff. Uh, you know, we did, we did a great job, you know, uh, you know, getting our, our sticks in lanes and, you know, just, uh, just paying attention to the details. And uh, we got a big two points. I think I did a great job. All right, you can take it off now. There you go. <laughs> My friends, that was a lovely stream. Are we going to hit 550? 390? Yeah, yeah, we're not even close. Well, next time we'll say it off the top. Maybe we'll have better luck. We will be back next week when the Leafs play someone. Buffalo? I think it's Buffalo. It is Buffalo. Buffalo in Buffalo, a national game for one of the worst lit arenas in the league. It just looks depressing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to give a special shout out to Team McFlurry Power, who won Blitzball Battle 4 
in the warehouse games for John Boy Media. We won a banner in the warehouse for floorball, and they won it for blitzball as well. Uh, Sava, that was scary in the third, but I had no doubt their PK have been stellar tonight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel worried for Sammy uh, since we killed it. Overall, killer game, and Willie made his word. You're right, not here. Iman's going to get 50. He ain't going to get it here. So, folks, we're going to wrap it now because I got an LFR to shoot because the Leafs win. For now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends to visit alsactioncanada.org slash merch. Get a t-shirt to support Jason and his uh, journey to raise funds for ALS and mom, if you're watching this, I will be upstairs momentarily, uh, to get my daughter and put her to bed. And Canadian Ty says, what a stressful third. I agree.